This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Mason, when I wear a watch, I like to look down at it and go, that is the time and my wrist looks great. You're a traditionalist in that way. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. It's what I, uh, what I stand for. It's also what Movement Watches stands for, I think, probably. That's not their tagline, though, is it? Look at your wrist, and if there's a watch on it, you'll know the time. It's and, probably not. And it ta- looks good. And it looks good. I mean, it should be. I mean, it tells you all you need to know, doesn't it? Uh, so we, we both got movement watches. They sent us one. Yeah. Happy with it? So Well, I immediately went and used our offer code to buy myself another one. So yes. Correct, you did. I, in fact, I think maybe their, their, adverti- like their marketing strategy is just to tell podcasters about it. Send them one free one, and then they're like... Oh well, I have to get all of them, don't I? I have to get all of them. Like I'm, there's a like a there's a there's a they have a line called the Voyager. Yeah. And I got one, and I immediately like. Well, now I have to get all the colours done. How many colours are there? Like eight, probably. You're gonna be watch heavy, mate. Yeah, I know. But if I'm only you're an Octo man. That's right. Because of eight, I could look at all. <laughs> I could look at all my wrists and know the time and look great. <laughs> Uh, this company actually started from two broke college kids who wanted to wear stylish watches but couldn't afford them. So they started their own watch company, as you said, which is probably more costly than... Much more. But in the long term... I mean, not for us. It's, no, it's, it's, it's boomed into this company that mm. you probably see everywhere. And, and then from there, they've, they've launched... They, they sell everything from... Uh, they sell them all on like podcast, Facebook and, and thing like, things like that. You don't actually... There's not a physical store. Mm. You can't walk into... Good. A, Good riddance to physical stores, agreed. if you ask me. Uh, so they started just ninety five dollars uh, a watch at a department store for a similar watch. You're looking about four to five hundred dollars. Agreed. Which is too much. The, like, and they're able to do this, like I said, because they cut out the middleman and uh, retail markup. They, they value classic design, quality construction, and style that's minimalized. Mm-hmm. Over one million watches sold in over one hundred and sixty countries. To me, yes. <laughs> You've got a million watches. Yep. And, I, and they, they actually stopped selling because I bought so many watches. They were like, you can't, we're not shipping anymore to Australia, so I moved countries <laughs> repeatedly. That's what's, that's what's been happening that's here. That's what's been happening, yeah. Mm. Uh, you can actually get 15% off uh, with free shipping and free returns if you're not happy with it by going to mvmt.com slash Weekly Planet. That's us. You like yours. You also got some sunglasses. Well, you got some, some sunglasses. sunglasses. Yeah. You happy with yours? I'm super happy You've been them. wearing them every day. Well, it's it's really quite dreary in Melbourne. See, I'm right a sunglasses now, but... everyday man, Mason. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have to wear them for so work. So give me your sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, you, you can't have my sunglasses. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I got the Night Owl. This is the model. It's very very cool. And again, got them in brown. I'm going to go immediately buy them in black now. So you're the perfect it's... customer, Mason. I'm the, in a way, yeah. Well, make sure you use the offer code Weekly Planet. That's MVMT. I'm going to. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> dot com slash Weekly Planet to join the movement. That's their slogan. Yes. It's not look at your wristed. <laughs> Yeah, you have the time, man. You'll you you'll have a good watch. Mm. Whatever I said it was. All right, let's do it. Podcast. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet, official podcast of comicbookmovie.com, where we talk movies, comics, TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me as always, my co-host Nick Mason. I've got one thing to say. What's that? Woo! You know what that means? It's Comic Con time. It's Comic Con time, baby. It's time to woo at everything and then criticize it later. <laughs> Before we do that, just quickly, quick yes. plug because uh, we've got a new podcast joining our network. It's Tofop. Ah, the you great prob- podcast Tofop. You probably not, Mason. Australia's own. Australia's own. Uh, comedian Will Anderson, mm-hmm. very famous man. Uh, Household name in Australia. That's right. Charlie Clawson, famous mm. man also. Mm. As famous? More famous than us, certainly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we, we've recorded some stuff together. Uh, they've actually put up an episode of Fofop, which is a spin-off podcast, even though it has more episodes than Tofop, where it's mm. me, you and Will Anderson talking about the origin of this podcast and our friendship. There's some new details in there. There is some details. Yeah. It's, it was a fun episode to do. It was really fun. Really he's good. A, he's a great yeah, so, um uh, uh, Charlie Clawson was yep. uh, was filming on his TV show Wolf Creek. Yes, and so we thought Will Anderson was alone. Let's corner him. <laughs> so we uh, flew up to Sydney and we recorded an episode, yep. and it's a real fun one. And also, those guys will be coming on uh, this show in the, in the coming weeks. That's right. Got some, got some stuff in the in the pipeline, but definitely check out Tofop if you like. They talk about Batman. They talk about movies. They talk about general interest things. It's very funny. They also do a great live show. They've got uh, actually one coming up at the Sydney Opera House, which I believe is sold out. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. So, uh, yeah, Toe Fop, definitely check it out. I'll I'll um I'll link the episode that we're on below. But there's there's so many. But there's guests so many. Just get into it. Just and also, it's if you're looking for it, it's 
It's spelt how it sounds. Yeah. T-O-F-O-P. It stands for 30 odd foot, foot of pod. pod after which Russell is a Russell Crowe. Crow, it's a Russell Crowe reference. <laughs> yeah. Which is fantastic. No, very, very cool dudes. And we're really happy that, uh, that, you know, we could do some stuff together. Yeah. Because they're great dudes. Great I said dudes. that. I said good, but then I upped it. I said great. Yeah, good. I changed my mind. Great. You know what else is great, Mason? What's that? All the Comic-Con news. Woo! Are we going to we gonna do a woo-ometer? What did we do last year? I don't remember. Uh, I think I wooed at the... I think we discussed it. Yep. And then I gave it a woo. The enthusiasm level varied and how enthusiastic I was about it. Right, but think. there was always a woo. Oh, there's never not a woo. It could be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> As you say, woo now, criticize later. Yeah. yeah. It could be a new TV show where like they just prank me every week. Like I walk out, like they're like, I walk outside my house and I get pantsed every week. <laughs> that's the show every week. That's the show every pants. week. Yeah. But I, and I would still have to woo it. I'd be against it, but it's not the time for critical thinking. All right. It's in the spirit of the con. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I thought we'd start with TV. There's a okay. bunch of stuff. We, we're probably just, we're not going to go into all of this in depth because there's, there's so much mm-hmm. and I didn't see, I fairly certain I missed a lot of it mm-hmm. and you may have also missed a lot of it. Saw everything. Good. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Then we're covered. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing though, which people wanted to talk about in particular was the Defenders trailer. Yeah, right. We've had one before, but this mm-hmm. has opened up the universe a bit more mm-hmm. though. Well, I mean, Stick's got a new pair of sunglasses. Yes. So in that way, <laughs> certainly open up the universe. I think it looks great. I think it looks really good. I'm really excited. I mean, he'd look better with a pair of movement sunglasses. Certainly but. he would. Well, what would he know though? You can't see him. That's right, Mason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they wouldn't feel right, would they? And he'd know because he's got the senses. <laughs> he's got, he's the, got senses. the daredevil senses, yeah. That's he'd it. He'd know he looked like quite the goose. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> he, didn't he play someone called Goose at some point? You'll think about that. Okay. You know I'm not going to think about it. Listen, what'd you think? Looked great. They're all working together. Mm-hmm. There's quips. People are calling Iron Fist on his shit. I love that it. Fi- yeah, it's great. Straight up. <laughs> Jessica Jones is like, he's like, oh, I'm focusing my chi. She's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you've it's got a little weird mutant You've got power. a magic hand. Yeah. Like, that's not chi. You've, you've got weird mutant powers and we hate you. I'm hoping this is kind of a return to what we got, like the best of what we've gotten from all the seasons. Mm. So for me, that's... Jessica, Jessica Jones, Daredevil season one, like that kind of level. Yeah, so right. I'm hoping that's and obviously bits and pieces of um, the, yeah. the latter stuff. I mean, it's all coming together. We got we got a little appearance of Elektra. Yeah, she's the hand the hands weapon to Correct. destroy New York somehow. What do you think Sigourney Weaver's about? Is she the big boss or is she under Madame Gao like everybody else? Because oh. Madame Gao's like an ancient crane mother woman. I think she's got an alliance with Madame Gao. I think it's some sort of Lex Luthor crazy political. real estate situation. Political. It's always political. Political. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What uh, there was also there was a, did you see the Stan Lee trailer as well? Yes, I did. He's in his limo. He's in his bloody limo, mate. Mm. Why wouldn't he be? He doesn't have to walk the streets. He's the anymore. king of New York. He's the king of New York. Forget mm. about him not having a limo. Correct. Uh, yeah. So also we, we're going we're gonna to be in the Punisher in this, I guess. Yeah. Nice. And speaking of, there was a. Oh, uh, I shouldn't. Am I moving on from this? I don't well, know. look. First of all, I just like to say there is John Bernthal, the Punisher, was at Comic Con and. He was. There's a lot of photos of him with the, like his Hot Toys action figure, yes. which is wielding a minigun, which again he did not use in Daredevil season two. Boo. It makes me very upset. You better get a bloody minigun, mate. That's all I'm saying. But I mean, when I think about it, John Bernthal at Comic Con holding a Hot Toys miniature of himself wielding a minigun <laughs> that he doesn't use, I've got to say, woo! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> woo! <laughs> you can't help yourself. Can't help myself. Eight episodes as well. They've learned a <laughs> lesson, maybe. Mm-hmm. Have they? Yeah. 13's too many is what mm. I'm saying. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, if you're going to do 13, maybe this is the one you do 13 on, but hey. That's exactly my thought. Was but I'd, just... I'd rather a tight eight mm-hmm. than a loosey-goosey 13, 13. Is, what I'm, is what I'm saying. We're going we're gonna to scroll that on your gravestone when you die <laughs> and without context and people are going to have to figure out what it means. In decades to come, they're going to be like, why does it say a tight eight and not what a loose he, 13? What's here? What's that mean? Is he some sort of sex fiend? I bet he was. <laughs> Uh, they also showed a Punisher trailer, which we they didn't release, uh. Uh, which was apparently very brutal and like it, it was very like if you were worried, Mason, that it wasn't the Punisher that you know and love, mm-hmm. the killer, the madman, mm-hmm. the mini gunless uh, Punisher. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's what we're getting. That the good thing. Okay, good, saying. great. Yeah, they've they've uh, apparently like there's a seat, there's a moment where where he's like you've killed everybody, you killed the Irish, you killed the triads. What are you, <laughs> why are you doing this? It doesn't matter. And he's like, yeah. 
goes, <laughs> that's his realisation that he's just doing it because he's, he's gotten into a rut. Yeah. He'd rather be doing something else if he's honest, but it's, he's in it. He's like, oh. It's a habit, yeah. Mm. What else do you then do? There's a mon- then there's just a montage of him in the park, a little ice cream, flying a kite. <laughs> well, that's how it got to start. This is much better. <laughs> well, that's how it got to start for him. Because he's, yeah, his family uh, yeah. were killed in the park. And mm. We're also going to be getting flashbacks of that as well. So we're going to be, he's going to be playing guitar with his daughter and that kind of thing. Then it flashes forward and he's sadly playing a guitar. Oh, but, but more Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, look, I don't have a problem with, um, the casting of that of all uh, that at all. I think they did a good job in Daredevil season two. I just I want to see more of him. So yeah, mm. his own seasons the kind of the, the way nice. to go. But I also want more team ups, man. I don't want five more series of everybody not meeting each other again. You Why can, wouldn't they? They've you can all, cross over now. They all got to hang out. They're gonna have a little clubhouse. That's it. Mm. But I think if they're there was fo- some acting, we saw Foggy. Foggy was in there. Mm. Foggy was like, oh, no, my city. Oh, no. <laughs> How do you think? Do you think he's Ramped up his acting this season. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a taste for it in in two, and now he's he's, he's acting he's a, the heck out of everything. He's ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Stranger Things. Watch- Wait. Woo! Oh. I'm very well excited. into it. Me too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Did you watch the one for that? Yes. It looks great. It does, doesn't it? It's back. Mm-hmm. Uh, the upside down world is bleeding into the regular world. Yep. If you thought Winona well, Ryder is not happy about it, no, she does. She's not a fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kid who got out of it. Yes. Uh, bowl cut McGee. I think a few of them have bowl cuts. Yep. It seems to be have some kind of residual situation happening. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Like maybe he's the magnet yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. And we see Eleven kind of breaking over into the into the real world. You know what did surprise me about this? What's that? None of the kids got real tall. <laughs> you know, like oh, in yeah, between seasons. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, none of them. None of them had that growth spurt. <laughs> and, unless, I mean, unless they're one of them standing on like. One of them standing in a ditch. It's, it's absolutely they had, to, they had to rebuild the set, so like yeah. Lord of the Rings style. <laughs> so like there's a school hallway, but it's crooked. Yeah. And so the super tall one stands in a ditch. Yeah. So it, it, I don't know. It looks great. How did you feel about... Uh, Giant the, Cthulhu monsters? No, I was going to say, how do you feel about the Vincent Price bit from Thriller? Just sort oh, yeah. of shoved in there. Well, the whole time I was thinking... That, this would be expensive, wouldn't it? <laughs> to do, right, yeah, totally. To do right. this. Uh-huh. But I guess they've got the money, especially yeah. after the success of the first one. Mm-hmm. What did you think? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah, I like I like, I, I, some, like it's it's right on the cusp of being a bit on the nose, I think. Well, that that's the... Of like, remember stuff from the 80s? Well, it's that's what that show from is. The 80s. It's, yeah, so, it's, it's right on exactly, the edge. Some yeah. people are like, it's too far over, but mm. I'm okay with it. I think because after Super 8, I'm like, too much. And, this, and also, I feel this is also... Better than watching something that's actually from the eighties, a hundred percent, which is a very bad mistake to make. <laughs> Never go back. Mm-hmm. We're going to move forward, Mason. Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, who's the captain, or what's happening? What Mich- era Michelle is Yeo's it? The captain. Yeah, but there's other captains as well. How do you mean? Uh, Jason Isaacs is a captain. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon he's like the decoy captain at the start. He's like, I'm the captain. You mind the bridge, and then he goes and gets murdered by Klingons. Oh, potentially, sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We got uh, Rain Wilson. Surprisingly, is Harry Mudd. Who's Who, Harry Mudd? He's like in the original series he's like uh he's a con man he's he's not a he's not a villain so much but he, he this always is like 60s star trek you're talking yeah about. so yeah. He's, he's always getting him into sort of like uh he's always he's always they always catch up with him when he's being involved in a scheme and then he gets him into, into bigger trouble so i think maybe that's the key here it's just like that character from the last transformers movie that was steve buscemi the scheming yeah. one. Mm. Is, that, is that a good parallel to draw exactly the people same, remember yeah. that don't they yeah i mean it just happened it was like three weeks ago people <laughs> remember it right Yes, that's Good. the only thing I remember from that film. <laughs> Do you think uh, people who had bit like if you turn your mic a bit this way towards yes. me? Yeah, there if you, you have a if you have a bit role in like a Transformers movie as a Transformer, yeah. do you think you could record it from your house? A hundred percent over the phone. Yes, uh, Skype. Yeah, Skype. Yeah, Skype's okay. pretty good now. I've mm. done some Skype recording, and it generally works out okay. Also, if you just did it, if someone just sent a Zoom to your house and you talked into it, that's true. It's, it's good enough. Gold Zoom though. Yeah, Gold Zoom because you're a celebrity. Obviously, yeah, you're famous. Yeah, you're a Oh, who's in that movie? John Goodman. You're a John Goodman. You're a John Goodman. You're not going to take a silver zoom, are you? Absolutely You're going to take not. this garbage one with a cracked screen. Well, it wasn't garbage until someone dropped a mic on it. It was Claire. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are we up to? Star Trek. Great production values as well. Looks great. Looks We've really got, good. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're trekking through a desert. They're Star Trekking. They're, very good. Very you. good, Mason. I'm very quick. Yeah. Uh, they're bloody... It's, it's all over the place. It's looking great. Yeah, I don't really know what it's about, and I'm kind of okay with that. Me too. And it's also week to week on Netflix. Yeah. I hope it's week to week here. I hope like Foxdale didn't grab it or something. 
<laughs> just, yeah, and, and no, how it. could they? No, surely not. Yeah, yeah, well, some of the things here don't go to Netflix. Is they, it being paid for by Netflix, though? Yeah, but still some. Yeah, you probably. No. Oh, is it? I think mm. CBS might have handed it as well. Hey, speaking of Foxtel. I will. So, uh, Game so, of Thrones is back. Well, I was going to say, about? side note. So, in Australia, like the only way to get like immediate streaming access to new episodes of Game of, Game of Thrones is like a is it is it like our our monopoly cable service has this service mm. called Foxtel now. Yeah. And this week it crashed while everybody was trying to watch the first episode of the new yeah. season of Game of Thrones. That's pretty funny, right? And you know what? I nearly got it because I'm yeah, like Yeah, right, same. Cause, same. Cuz I rewatched them yeah. and I bought them all cuz I hadn't bought them before but I'm like, you know what? Mm. I really like these and I've never paid for them. But but you know, but now I have. And yeah. then I went to do it and I well, I didn't go to do it. I'm glad yeah, I didn't right. go to do it. But from you thought about it I really about it. hard. But I'm I'm having that I'm having the kind of moment in my life from I'm going back and I'm I'm paying for stuff more like stuff. Yeah, that right. Because sure, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Huh. Yeah, because I've got money, so I can afford. Yeah, it, right, jeez, I mean? all right. No, I don't, I'm not rich, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not I'm not working at McDonald's like I used to. Yeah, like, sure, that's true. Yeah. There's no excuse uh-huh. for it. Up oh. until a few weeks ago. <laughs> That's right. Also, but it's it's also oh, what was I even gonna say? It's easier now for me to like purchase something streaming. Yeah, right. They'd get a torrent, and then is it a is it a dodgy one and whatever? Anyway, people mm. don't care about this. Mm. Anyway, I don't care if you pay for stuff or not. That's that's mm. your prerogative. Anyway, it's just funny that they were like. I feel it's funny <laughs> that they're like everybody's buying this streaming service, but nobody's using it at all. I wonder why that is. I mean, we've, we've just advertised it nonstop as being able to stream the new season of Game of Thrones. Anyway, should we should we add more server space no. during Game of Thrones? No. Okay. Oh, it's crashed. Also, Foxtel know the numbers of Game of Thrones because they're always like 5 million people downloaded illegally in yeah, Australia. Right. So be ready for that. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Star Trek Discovery. Woo! I'm having a good time. Me too. It's good. It's good to go back to the Star Trek verse. Mm. I started actually. I started watching Generations. The other, not Generations. The movie. Uh, the Next Generation. Oh yes. First episode. I'm like, boy, this is Encounter at Far Point. This is slow. With Q. <laughs> yeah. Wearing his, wearing his little little hat. Little yeah. hat. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, like an it. hour and a half. Mm. It's uh. Look, I didn't love it. Uh-huh. I know it's classic, but I'm like, when does this get good? Uh-huh. It does though, doesn't it? Like it amps look. up. <laughs> Oh, it becomes more. No, it does. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push through. It wasn't bad, but I'm like, yeah, this is from 1988 or whatever it mm. started. Yeah, mm-hmm. amazing, like quality of special effects for that time. So that's true. Yeah. So it would have been a very expensive show. Uh, the Walking Dead had a teaser trailer. Didn't watch it. Me neither. Don't watch I, Walking Dead. But I did see the screen cap at the end because people are freaking out. Oh cause, yes. Because Rick wakes up. Rick and his old man Rick. It was all a dream. Yeah, well, that's what people are saying. It's a dream. Was it a dream? I don't know because I don't watch Walking Dead. <laughs> and ever, I don't care. Have you ever seen uh, Twenty Eight Days Later? Yeah, that's how the Walking Dead starts. Yeah, I've Rick seen goes, the first five minutes of the first okay, episode. Okay, well, there you yeah. go. So people are saying, "Oh, it's that," but also the comics, and I guess a slight spoiler for the comics. Uh, there's a slight time jump where Rick's a little bit older and he's got the bigger beard and he's a, he's a bit older. Mm-hmm. So it's probably just a flash forward. Oh sure, right. Yeah. Okay. Also, mm-hmm. the show's not that good enough for me to speculate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Quite frankly, you could you could use the brain power, but why would you? Why would I? When mm. I'm breaking down trailers left and right, Mason. You did. How many trailer breakdowns did you do on YouTube? Today? Only two. I was the only person on the internet that was glad they didn't release the Infinity War trailer. <laughs> <laughs> or did they, Mason? Oh no. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Maybe it leaked. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes. It did. We both watched it. Uh Krypton. Yes. Look, you watched the trailer. Yep. And you said it was fine. It's like eight seconds long. But yes. I read that Doomsday, Hawkman and Brainiac are going to be showing up, which for me yes. makes more sense than what they're doing in Gotham. Sure, right. Like, because those are kind of characters that have that are old enough to have existed and been wrecking civilizations or helping civilizations. Yeah, so and, like, oh, and, on, and they built Doomsday on Krypton. Exactly. Well, I mean, I guess it, so this, that would make this... Actually, no, I guess it could still make... This in continuity with, with the Snyderverse. I don't think it is. I'm I know, but it could yeah. be potentially because in BBS, Lex Luthor builds a doomsday. Yeah. So presumably on Krypton, they built the technology oh, that, to build a doomsday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, right. Good point. Mm-hmm. What a doomsday. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give that a go, I guess, when it comes out because everything mm. deserves a chance, Mason. Yeah. So, anyway, whoop. Yeah, whoop. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but does this deserve a chance? In Humans Trailer 2... Apparently met with laughter in the... Uh, oh, no. Did you see the Medusa hair effect? Yes, I did. And? As a, uh, as as like a, a gif. <laughs> maybe as a gif or like a five-second clip or something like that. Yeah, it's like about that. that good. 
Yeah, there's more dog, which I think is <laughs> it's good. It yeah. definitely it definitely looks better than the last trailer. Uh huh. But it's yeah. Look, they probably should have opened with this to be honest, because everybody's reaction is just what is this? Right, right, right. It right. doesn't look interesting or, or funny or weird or it's just kind of whatever. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, but there is more teleporting dog. It's what the Marvel Universe needed. It's what I needed, frankly, in my life. Anyway, in humans, woo or boo or... Well, you got to work, obviously. Yeah, woo. Yeah, slightly better. Yeah, woo. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Can we talk Fox movies, Mason? Because there's three I big... Yes. Pa- there's three big panels from Comic-Con. You got right. your Fox. Mm-hmm. You got your DC. You got your Marvel. Mm-hmm. Fox uh, kicked things off, and you know what they didn't do? Any X Men stuff? Huh. None of it. So, so what was it again? Uh, new Just mi- them sitting there. Yeah, they went mm, next <laughs> year. <laughs> yeah. No, because they're, they're at the moment. I think they're filming everything at the moment. Like they all kind of just started as well. Mm. But I'll, I'm surprised they at least didn't do a little Deadpool kind of like, well, hey, remember yeah. me? Look at my balls. Exactly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> the classic Deadpool trailer. Remember me? Look at my balls. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so could have given away T-shirts and said, "Look at my balls." <laughs> I'm surprised, yeah, like because normally they'd get Ryan Reynolds in and he to do something, yeah. They everyone would look at his balls. Side note: Did did notorious prankster Henry Cavill do anything during this? He course? wasn't there. What? And you know why? Because normally he's doing a, a crazy prank, like he's dressing up like Spider Man, and he's walking <laughs> around the con floor, and then he's. Taking photos of people, they don't know it's Henry Cavill. A lot of people do that, though. It's not just him, eh? Isn't no, that right? I feel he's most famous for it. <laughs> Ryan Cranston did it. He did it in a, uh, you know, what's his name? What's his character's name from Breaking Bad? Walter White Walter mask. White. He put on a Walter White oh, mask fun. and did it. Yeah, I yeah. feel Henry Cavill's the cheekiest, though. He probably Because he's British. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. the cheekiest race you could be. Yes. Uh, but Fox, this isn't actually from the panel. They didn't get up and say this, so it would have been hilarious. Uh, Ridley Scott's Alien Covenant sequels are on the back burner while they reassess the franchise. So not only did they not present <laughs> anything really, they just <laughs> said, and we're no, taking some things say, away. They didn't say, this is, other, this is news outside of the Oh, place. I see, right. They weren't like, well, <laughs> hey, how our news guys is not only no new films, but some of the films <laughs> that we're going to, we're not doing them anymore. Yeah. Do you think we're going we're gonna to get them? Because Ridley uh, Scott is filming something between now and when he's supposed to start. Yes, because what else have they got? Do the, the do the sequel. Get Neil Blomkamp, who's doing the oh, Oats I studio. see, right, right, yeah. Do the Sigourney Weaver. That's what everybody wants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if it's bad, at least do it and then be like, look, we did it, all right? Sure. You're happy? But I guess the, the I feel the issue maybe isn't that. It's that there's some executive who's like, I don't like. He's like either his baby is these prequels. Yeah. Or he doesn't like Neil Blomkamp. Well, you're an idiot because they're shit. That, yeah, there we go. <laughs> they're not that bad. Though, Real talk. They? Yeah, they're not that bad though. Even are they? They're what? just the, the Alien prequels. They're no, just they're like, bad. Are they though? They're not. They're bad because they're not great. Yeah, they're, ba- yeah. they're bad because because why are you doing them? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're bad because they could very easily like they're okay, but they could very easily be great. Yeah. If they fix some minor things like. Making all the characters not complete idiots. Like yeah. you just flick the intelligence switch up a little bit, and yeah. then suddenly Alien. What was the last one? Covenant. Yeah, might have been okay. I was going to say Walter, but that wasn't the name of the movie. Alien was it? Walter. <laughs> yeah. mm. You say so you don't want to see what happens to Walter or, or David. Not really. Yeah, but I feel like also can they leave that hanging in the air forever? Yeah, I mean they could also bring him back for the. the That's sequel. what they used to do with all movies. Yeah. Is they left some That's stuff hanging true. in the air and went, hey, fill in the blanks yourselves. Wasn't this a fun ride movie? Maybe, maybe you'll get a comic book, but probably not. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so. But they could bring back David in the Sigourney Weaver one. Mm. He's an android. Some pe- sometimes people would be like, what happened in the further adventures of that character? We'll never know. Nothing. Nothing. So <laughs> just imagine it. It's fine. <laughs> there doesn't have to be a sequel to everything and a prequel. No, I disagree. There has to be a sequel and a prequel mm. and a sidequel. Anyway, what is, what's the Fox News? Uh, Kingsman 2 got a trailer. Oh, yeah. Golden Looks Compass. awesome. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Did you see the... Oh, he's taking off his jumper. He's ready for this. <sighs> oh, he's pulling out a lasso. That's he's going right. to do a reenactment. <laughs> uh, what did you think of the laser lasso? The laser lasso was very funny. What a weapon. Mm-hmm. I love who's it. that? Who's the... Who's That's the... Uh, the uh, Pedro, what's his name? He's from, a Moldovar, uh, famous filmmaker. Hang on. Oh, what the bloody hell is his name? Look, I'm not that interested. If it's not... He's from Narcos and he's from Game uh, of Thrones. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah. I can't remember. I really want to know his name now. Sorry. <laughs> just, he looked a bit like Orlando Bloom. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted Pedro if, Pascal, that's there his we go. name. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, it's not Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom uh, is, is fallen out of favour, Mason. He's not sure has. Hollywood's darling mm. little boy anymore. That's very true. <laughs> Because he's 38, maybe? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but no, Kingsman looks fantastic. 
That being said, it does. They've just brought back Colin Firth. Like yes. the the, the, pro, the previous trailer, we see Colin Firth. He's back. He's alive. He's shaving. Yeah. He's got an he's like got an eye patch in his glasses. Yeah. And we think, what's going on with Is him? Is it a tape? Is it a tape? Is it a? Has he been? You know, kidnapped by the has he been? Is he, was his body recovered by the bad guys and yeah. then they brought him back and now he's good or evil? We don't know which way he's going. But now he's just back on the Kingsman team. But it could and be. He's fine. Yeah, I was going to say it could be a pre flashback, but he's just, the eye patch thing makes me think it's probably not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about a hologram mask? Robot. Like it's somebody else. Yeah, robot. could be a robot. Twin. I guess. I guess he could be back, and then at the end, there's a double. There's a double twist, and it turns out he's on the side of the bad guys. Right. We talked about how it could be a Legends of Curly, Legend of Curly's Gold situation where he's got a twin. Did we talk about it that? It could be that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I just shouted that from a, at a. Look, from, I'm not sure if we did, but let's just initiate a rule that in any movie there could be a Legends of Curly's Gold <laughs> situation, regardless of the film or the genre. Yeah. Any character could have. A Curly's legend. Gold. Call it Curly's Gold. Exactly Ready to right. go. Mm. Yeah. What else happens in that? Uh, Julianne Moore. Yep. She's the, the Channing's villain. Tatum. Yeah, is in there. So Pretty they've great. got the they've got the statesmen, which are the American kind of kingsmen. They're mm-hmm. cowboys and they're whiskey drinkers. Yes, and they're lassoists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting to see the agencies from around the world. Halle Berry shows up as well. Mm-hmm. She's a bad guy. I don't think she is. Is she? No, I think she's she's like their Q. Or is she yeah, an I think agent? she she's their Mark Strong. I right. think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Cool. She was she was great as Jinx in uh, Die Another Day. Boy, wasn't she? Yeah. Should have got her own franchise, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, no, but look. Uh, it's great. It, mm. it can't come quick enough or I can wait because why not? That's fine also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's also bloody, what's his name? The director who makes good things, Matthew Vaughan. Yeah, that's true, he's yeah. He's never made a bad one. So he's like the good Guy Ritchie. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. 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 Mm. Not that Guy Ritchie's bad. He just makes bad films. And he might be a bad person. Is that true? No, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm theoretic. This is a legend of Curly's gold situation. Oh. He could be a good guy or a bad guy. We don't know. Could be two of them. Don't know him. Don't know him personally. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got it yet. Yeah, anyway, like- woo! Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting. Uh, what about oh, what about for re- for re- doing something else for the Alien franchise? What, what kind of woo do you give that? What? Yeah. Mm. Do it or don't? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Channing Tatum also says that Logan and Deadpool opened things up for Gambit. So they were, trying to, get it, well, they were trying to get it made and they are like, uh, this thing you can't do, this is too weird or whatever. But they went, oh no, people like it when you do stuff that isn't shit. So uh-huh. just... Do that. Do something different. So that's so it's still happening. Apparently, I can't remember who's the director, or even if there is one at the moment, because it's lost several, and someone dropped out or didn't. I don't know. I can't mm. remember. But Channing Tatum's still in it, and as long as he can still put on that sock with a face cut out of it, <laughs> I'm true. ready to go. Yeah, yeah. He's look. I think maybe he just. I think he paid way too much for like. New Orleans accent lessons and he can't write them off in his taxes until they make the movie. That's why he's so adamant on this happening. Do you need to do the accent or can you just just speak in just your regular Just talk voice? regular. Because does everyone in New Orleans talk like that? I wouldn't I think so. I bet they don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This this wasn't at the panel but it was announced on Twitter. And Which is it, as good as a panel. As good as... And it just kind of... I'm like... It's oh, like that's, the world's panel. I was like, oh, that's bad. Oh, no, that's good? Like, it really kind of threw me. There's a... Allegedly, a Doctor Doom solo movie in the works. That's right. But, which sounds terrible, but it's by the Legion and Fargo writer creator Noah Hawley. Noah Hawley. Yeah. So that will probably be great. I yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, Legion was a character that I guess not a lot of people are aware of generally. Mm. And he, you know, therefore he had enough leeway to give it a bit of a spin and yeah. make it his own. So. Yeah. There was also somebody else said, I can't remember who it was, that it's not actually a Doctor Doom movie. It's a Fantastic Four movie, but maybe the emphasis, on, the emphasis is on Doctor Doom. There was also that talk about young Fantastic Four. Remember yeah, that right. with like uh, Franklin Richards? Uh-huh. So I don't know what's going on with this specifically, but if he's involved in any of this, that's a smart move by Fox to be like, oh yeah, let's get the guy who makes things that people actually like Yeah, right. to do this. Yeah. Uh, potentially it could be based on Books of Doom, which was like a six year, okay. six issue miniseries from like 2000 and something-ish. Good. Six, 2005 or six. Yeah, it's really good. So it's Ed Brubraker who did yep. Winter that Soldier. great. You win a soldier and mm. criminal and all that sort of stuff. And it sort of goes through the history of the character and how yeah. he's, uh, where, where, where he came about and makes you really feel for Doctor Doom. Does it make you think? Does make you think? Does make you stink? Because you read it for too long and you don't have a shower. No, it's six issues. Laminate it, read it in the shower. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, that's. I mean, I shouldn't like that, but I do. 
So, mm. well, of course, it's it's Noah Hawley. So yeah. it's yeah. Let's do it anyway. Woo! I'm yeah, excited big for that. Woo for that. Yeah. All will right. that will will that ever eventuate into anything? I don't yeah, know. Who knows? Mm. Yeah. Well, if they don't do something with it, then they're gonna have to give it back. So wait, is yeah exactly? Maybe this is the maybe the, their sort of they're feeling out the absolute minimum they have to do in order yeah. to maintain the license. Yes. So they're like. Okay, we don't have to use the Fantastic Four. If we use Doom, can we keep the Fantastic Four? Yeah. Oh, we can, okay. Fantastic. If we use that robot that they put in the Fantastic Four <laughs> when cartoon. When Johnny Storm in, died? Yeah, in, the, no, in place of the Human Torch so <laughs> kids wouldn't set themselves on fire. If we just use Herbie the robot, are we allowed to? That's fine, right? Can we still, oh, we can still, okay, cool. What's the origin of that robot? Do three of them go to space with the robot? Yes, I think so. Very but good. the robot has no special powers. It's well, just it's a, a robot, robot, so yeah. it's special, isn't it? Because that is a little bit special. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Anyway, that's that's Fox for this year. But I feel like well, next year is going to be they're going to be there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Also, I think Deadpool will be out by next time this time next year. Anyway, mm. great. Let's talk about Warner Brothers and DC. Start, Yay! Starting with what sort of a trailer for Pacific Rim Uprising? Yeah. What is that? What's going? On? It, it's like was, a viral video. It's not very good though, is it? No. You, you, you're doing a lot of creakies there. Am I? Yes. That's all right. I, I you're can, not picking it up? It's not coming through. Okay, carry on then. <laughs> that will. Okay, That'll good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what's it? Is is Pacific Rim 2 the prequel? No, it's uh, that John Boyega, Boyega is, uh, what's his name? Pentecost, the lead guy from the last one. The, yep. Canceling the apocalypse! Idris Elba. Yeah, Idris Elba's son. His okay, right. Like Jackson Pentecost or something like that. Oh, what a delightful I name. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Pentecost Sharp? I don't know. Doesn't so this matter. is a sequel? Yes. Okay, great. And it's slicker Jaegers? It, that, well, that's the thing. It's very slick and it's sort of being pitched as in-universe. Yeah. It's a TV ad or, yeah. a, or like an internet ad for Jaegers and joining joining the Jaeger Strike Force or something it's like that. It's almost like Starship Troopers kind of. Yeah, yes, except yeah. that universe, like it feels so far gone in terms of you know, the world has faced this apocalypse and people are barely holding on to civilization. Yeah. That where is there room for this slick, Yeah. this viral video situation? Well, I guess off the back of what happened last time, so mm. like they closed the portal and yeah. they were like, yeah, you guys are the best again. Yeah, so I guess if this so, has been, if it's been like 10 years, yeah. but if this is happening the year after, I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. Maybe, maybe spend less of your budget on the ad and more budget on clothing and feeding all those starving people who have to live on wall rigs or whatever <laughs> yeah, exactly, what happened in yeah. that movie i i don't know i don't know why they even thought they should make this yeah it's kind of odd to me the but movie or the ad yeah the movie right pacific Rim is fine mm-hmm. i don't remember it i remember that had a sword i remember thinking, i was just thinking you just had the sword <laughs> yeah. that was the most memorable part it was a floppy sword <laughs> yeah, and, then, and it, then it really just hardened right yeah. up <laughs> that should be on your grade thank you it will be <laughs> but uh but it's got John Boyega's in it. I'm interested to see what he's because yeah. he's been doing some good stuff. So I'm interested on that. What is also interesting, alone. I think, about this trailer is that John Boyega's in the Jaeger by himself. Ah, oh, because the premise he's of the, the Jaeger Master exactly. Because in the in the in the first movie, you can only operate a Jaeger if you have a partner and you drift together as a team. Yeah, and you learn each other's deepest mind darkest melds. secret mind meld. But Maybe they're like, yeah, we don't. That's boring. We don't care about it anymore. Yeah, I think maybe maybe they're like the plot requires that that doesn't happen anymore. So yeah. we're just gonna say anybody can pilot a Jaeger. I now. guess it's easier because then you don't have to cast two people. That's true. You can cast the one person. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm gonna. Can we move our mics back a little bit? I'm yeah. gonna try it like this. Okay. Because I'm feeling I'm popping on both of ours. Oh, what about now? Uh, I don't know. I'll let you know when we when we get into it. When we say some p words. Because we've got the new say new a p system. say a p word. Positive energy. That's a, that's a big pop. If I, what about pop filters? Yeah, that's Are better. Are they still popping? Yeah, that's better. Okay, okay, right. let's do it like that. Okay. Further away is the is the key. Turns out it is. Uh, what's next? What do we got here? Oh, this was exciting. Wait, sort of. Oh, uh, Pacific Rim. Whoop. Yep. It's all right. I'm probably yeah. No, that that's yeah. well. I, yeah, we'll see. If it. those wonderful Aussie larrikins are back, <laughs> I think they died, or one of them died. As long as their Jaeger's back. <sighs> Their famous Jaeger. It's a big boxing kangaroo. Paul Hogan. <laughs> it's called Striker Eureka. There's got to be a That's better Australian your... name than that, Just I feel. Just get Australian guys. Shrimp Barbie. Wasn't it filmed in Australia? Probably. I don't know if it was, actually. I don't know that for mm. a fact. Jay Guile wasn't in the background, so I don't know. He's my benchmark for whether yeah, right. <laughs> it's filmed in Australia. Uh, Australian Jaeger, bit racist. They just have two words <laughs> that represent Australia. Harmless, bit racist. Mm. 
Not always harmless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so DC Animated Movies, they announced a few. Okay. Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, which is the first Suicide Squad animated movie set in the animated movie universe because the last one was set in the arkham oh yeah right so that's, arkham, that's yeah. interesting okay. uh i don't care great <laughs> uh death of superman let's do it again yeah and, why not and also reign of the superman great and the first dc animated movie was superman doomsday in 2007 mm-hmm. where they did death of superman yeah mm-hmm. but this will apparently adhere closer to the comic which is no longer in continuity just, so yeah also take the good stuff maybe because we yeah. talk about this all the time, but on its own, it's it's weird if you just pick it up and you've never read anything else. Mm. But yeah, d- okay. Fine. I, c- I kind of want to see it, I guess. I don't. I think The Reign of Superman would be interesting because we haven't seen that. Mm. But uh, kill him again, why not? That's yeah. like they can't think of anything else to do with Superman except kill him. Like, is that yeah, what's so most it's interesting? Weird, right? Well, it's when he's probably sold the most issues. That's probably why they're doing it. I guess. But at the same time, there's... There's so much. There's so much... Though, to be fair, the animated movies have done, like, a lot of varied Superman stuff. Yeah, so right. So I can't... Yeah, I shouldn't... Yeah. But they can't They can't <laughs> think of one more Superman storyline. Well, they might be doing Red Sun. Are they talking about Red Sun? Or was that... No, that was live action. Mm. Yeah. Or a new one. A new story. Yeah. <laughs> where he goes somewhere and does something that doesn't involve him fighting Doomsday. Yeah, do Birthright. They haven't done that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Shazam! Begin shooting February 2018. No star. No star. Yes. Yeah, they must have someone. Mm. They'd sure. Who do you think? Army Hammer? Oh, yeah, that would work. Uh, the guy's playing Gambit. Channing Statham. Yeah. Ah. Uh, He's got a big, goofy kid's head. That's true. You're right. Yeah, Channing <laughs> yeah. Statham could do it. Yeah. Mm. Apparently, they were talking about the kid is... Uh, I think they said the kid was in a wheelchair or something. So, it seems like they're doing the... Um, superior kind of route, mm. which is the, the the Mark Millar comic. Okay, right. Because Billy Batston is just a regular kid, isn't he? Just it? a regular yeah, kid, yeah. So doesn't have polio or nothing. No, so. Or rickets. Yeah, or rickets, yeah. Mm. Anyway, doesn't sleep in an iron lung. I don't know. Yeah, do it. Sure, give it a whirl. I want to see it. So, yep. yeah, absolutely. The DC Cinematic Universe could definitely need, it definitely needs more lightning, I feel. I feel. <laughs> yes, it does. There's more lightning bolts shooting out of the sky, shooting around. More smoke. Shooting around buildings, fire. <laughs> yeah. And that's what Shazam brings. One of the big stories that came out uh, on the weekend, which was the day before the, the Justice League trailer, was that Ben Affleck doesn't want to be Batman anymore. That's right, yeah. And it was... So he might be out... After Justice League yes. is the rumor, and it was a but fa- before the Batman. Yes, and it was a fairly reputable source, but it's also one of those things where he's contracted in, so they could probably just make him do it. All oh, right, and he's and at the if you on the comic at the Comic Con panel, he got up and he said, "I love this character. I love doing it." Of so course, he used some foul language. He did, yeah. yeah. Of course, I don't want to leave. And everybody wooed it. Everybody wooed it. And then later they're like, "I don't know if I approve <laughs> of this Ben Affleck's language." If I'm perfectly honest, he's got a big head, doesn't he? He does, yeah. yeah, yeah. But look, and I don't doubt his enthusiasm for it, but I, I don't take that as. No. 100% that he doesn't want to do it. I mean, why yeah. would he go up and say, listen, just so we all know. <laughs> hey, everybody who cheers. I get, Maybe you would. You, if they, you know they cheer everything. You'd be like, hey, guys. This is the moment. This is my last one. I'm not doing it again because I hate the character and I'm sick of working in this industry. Yeah. And people will be like, woo! I can understand. He's speaking his mind. <laughs> I can understand why he, he wouldn't want to do it because even though people like him. Yes. The movies that he's in, people generally have not liked. Oh, absolutely! And he's forty-five, and they even say this in the article. So he's the old. Is he the oldest he member of the Justice League? Yeah, he would have to be by like ten years. Because Henry Cavill's thirty. He's our age, he's right? He's our age, yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> what was I going to say? Yeah, I know he looks amazing, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but and they, they even made a comment in the article, something like, "So he, if he does three, he'll be fifty-five by the time they wrap it up." Yeah. But his body isn't a temple like Tom, Tom Cruise's. Actually, said right? That. Okay, yeah. I'm like that's a bit of. A point but also, it. neither's. Robert Downey Jr.'s. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And if Robert Downey Jr. has to do a shirtless scene in the next couple of Marvel movies, they'll just CGI yeah. him a and double. He, Who cares? He gets buff as well. Yeah, he, right? he, he works It'll out. He's fine. But I, I mean, I feel like because Ben Affleck started out as a writer mm. and he won that Oscar with Matt Damon for Angry Boston Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Goodwill Hunting. I go fuck yourself. There we go. Uh, how do you like them apples? Uh, and so. Now that he's, you know, he's he's an Oscar winner, he's, you know, been in tons of movie roles, he's directed movies that have won Os- Oscars, right? Yeah. 
And, and this was after his career was in the toilet. Like he yeah, right. dug himself yeah. out of it. And now he's in a position where he can dictate his own terms on everything. Yep. And he's writing a... He wrote the script with Jeff Johns, the head of DC. Yep. And, and now then, they're rewriting and it. And then Matt Reeves is like, is t- taking a look at it and going, nah, doing something else and just <laughs> yeah. binned it. Yeah. Like that would be kind of a slap in the face, I feel. I mean, unless, he's a, this unless, he was veteran. Like, unless he was like, I can't do this. Yeah. Fix it. Because mm. I... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, look, I think it could go either way. Yeah. And I wouldn't, and look, and I said this in the, because I did a Justice League trailer breakdown, Mason. Check it out. It's linked below. Check okay. If, if you're listening to this, Mason. I'm don't looking. Forget. I can't see it. Can't see it? No, can't it's see under it. under the couch. Oh. Yeah. It's under the dog? <laughs> no. It's under the dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What did I, what was I say? Even if he wants to leave, mm-hmm. it's okay. It's you know, true, They yeah. can replace him. Yeah. They can kind of, they can write him out and then maybe write him back in later if he's happy with uh-huh. the way it's going. Yep. It's not the end of the world. Because when I suggested on Twitter that I was like, hey, do you think this is real? People are fucking flipping out. Mm. Like, I'm just I'm like, like <laughs> why do you, why, it's just a rumor. Yeah, no, I understand that. <laughs> like, I get it. But it's it's okay to kind of, you know, throw something out there. Not every rumor turns out to be true, but some of them are true. Before he left the Batman, mm-hmm. a week before he was like, I'm directing this, I'm excited, let's do this. A week later he quit. That's true. So you don't, I'm not saying he's going to quit, but you don't know. Mm. And, he, and if he does... Do you think he's got bipolar disorder? Him, but, but when you think it would be something where you're like, I'm sick of this... Or role. cocaine. Or cocaine. You think he has bipolar disorder or a very large stash of cocaine. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm excited. Let's go. I quit. I quit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this franchise. I love you guys. I'm on, I'm on the Comic-Con panel. I'm leaving. I hate you all. <laughs> Woo! I wake up the dog. He tells it how it is. Mm. But yeah, I think my feeling is that the idea that he's been doing this for so long and somebody's just like, nah, I don't care for your script, don't care for yeah. any of it. No, I can... Compl- that yeah. he might be like, no, well, then I'm, I'm stepping away. Now, I don't know if you've got this written down, but apparently, is the, the next Flash movie is going to be Flashpoint? Or yes. the Flash movie is going to be Flashpoint? So I had one more thing to say about that. Oh, yes. I can't remember what it was. Batman, Bruce Batman, Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Ben, ben Affleck. Ben oh, I can Affleck. Ima- I can imagine it would go... Sorry, one more thing. It, it could go a number of ways. Yes. Like, if you're, if you're down about it, but then you get on stage and there's 5,000 people going, you're the best and we love you, that would no doubt go, you know what, people love this, maybe I will do yeah, it. So I can understand true. like he'd probably also fluctuate in, yeah, that's true, in the yeah. way he feels. Mm. Anyway, and the cocaine. And also the cocaine. Yeah. yeah. But so the, the Flash movie yes. is going to be Flashpoint. And I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan mm. put up an Instagram post of him and uh, the Thomas Wayne Batman. Him and Laura Cohen, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who plays Martha Wayne. Yeah. So do you think that's what we're going to get? Potentially. What, okay, how old is Je- Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Ben Affleck the same age? They'd be close. He'd be Jeffrey Dean Morgan would be mid fifties, I'd say. Huh. Yeah, Do but he, think- they don't have to be the same age though. Yeah, because he could just put a little more grey in his hair. It's that's true. It's fine. I don't think they'd replace. I don't think they're going to replace Bruce Wayne Batman with Thomas Wayne Batman. No. I think they'll put. They'll definitely. I think that's why they cast him just in case. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. I think. I think what's going to happen is the Flash movie. Flash is going to breach some sort of dimensional barrier and he's going to in- encounter mm. the Thomas Wayne Batman and it's going to be a crazy situation. And it's going to be like, oh no, this Batman that I've known and loved for a couple of months, <laughs> now it's a different Batman. I mean, they both kill people, <laughs> but it's slightly different. No, this one's got red eyes. It's got red eyes, so it's worse. <laughs> he looks slightly yeah. meaner. But I think potentially with Br- Bruce Wayne Batman, if they're going to replace him, they might do it with a maybe a Nightwing. Yes. Like a, maybe, there's, maybe that's your army hammer. Yeah, well, absolutely. Maybe he's Dick Grayson. Yeah. Switch out Affleck, put in bloody... Um, and maybe man. he could be there in a supporting role. Yeah. Maybe he could be like, I'm not dead, but I'm just and I'm maybe, retired. And maybe, yeah, you, when he comes back in time, it could be that Army Hammer is Batman. Is that what you're saying? Not that he even steps aside, that the cha- that the timeline's changed enough. Oh. Where, is that what you mean? Or no, I meant... I meant like an a, actual passing I meant this is, the, I meant this is as unrelated to Flashpoint. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that in story, in the... In the mm universe we have right now i'm thinking he might step aside and then army hammer yeah. who was the original robin and now is nightwing's like well i'll do it yeah i think mm. that i think it'll be, be like oh it. the nightwing we've known for four yeah. minutes <laughs> great he's batman now i'd love to see nightwing Me and, too. and they're doing a movie so yeah why not the other thing is this is the first flash solo movie yes and they're doing flashpoint yeah right which i kind of love because mm. they've established a lot of the Flash on TV. People know that character now. But they, they've also done Flashpoint, it's essentially, yes, on TV. They have. What, I, I, what I'm saying is, is it too soon to do Flashpoint? Or, yeah. is, it, or is it the right time to well, do it's it? It's the wrong time to do it. I think, I don't know, because I'm in two minds about it. Because I think 
it's real weird and I and I like that. And as someone who understands the universe, it's fine for me. Uh-huh. But for the you're saying for like a lot of people or even you, no? No, because I and again I think it's the same thing that they did with Batman Superman, where it's they didn't establish a rapport between the characters. They just went, Hey, let's throw in Dark Knight Returns and let's throw in Death of Superman, we'll throw in Doomsday, throw it all in there. Yeah. Because they're the ca- they're the storylines we know the most and we want to play in that sandbox. So and let's nobody just... can use them. Exactly. Then nobody <laughs> can use them again. And I think that's it's just that there's there's always been buzz around, you know, Flashpoint yeah. is this notable event that's quite recent and they're like, Well, let's just make it this. And you can I feel there's gotta be other storylines that they Absolutely. could use. Absolutely. And you can also fix certain things in the universe with yeah. Flashpoint, which is maybe why again they they want to do it. But also, and I know you said that they don't really know each other and that, and, uh-huh. that, and that is true, but it also depends on how Flash comes across in Justice League. That's true, yeah. If he's a major player and they really establish that character well, then maybe it'll work better off the back of that. Mm. But if he's barely in it or people don't like him, yes. this is going to be a very different movie than what they think it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm still kind of excited. I mean, the, the stuff you can do, you can do the Amazonian uh, Atlantean War, yep. which is from that, which is great. So you've got Aquaman and Wonder Woman with their armies battling against each other. You've got Reverse Flash. You've got Superman who's in a bunker. It's like the government have captured him and they've just kept him under red sun lamps his entire life. So he's all skinny and uh-huh. he doesn't understand anything or how to interact with people. Finally, Henry Cavill's more like us. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to CGI him skinny, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, they would, yeah. Like uh, Captain America. So, but I, but I feel like all those things could be good, but at the same time, it's too early in to go, hey, you know those characters you've just met, you know Aquaman and Wonder Woman? Here's alternate versions of them. Yes. And I think a lot of people, maybe laymen and women, yeah. who go in are going to be like... I'm really confused because yeah. the idea of parallel universes with similar with characters that are similar but also quite different. Yeah. People aren't gonna like it. But also maybe the movie is half regular kind of Justice League y stuff. That's so even more confusing. Yeah, I know, but I'm maybe I'm saying you could set it up or the first fifteen minutes establish the rapport again. This uh-huh. is Wonder Woman and Aquaman yeah, and their okay, friends. Sure. And, right, okay. Yeah, look, I completely understand, but at Good. the same time, I really kind of want to see how this goes. You understand but you're not willing to budge. I, I understand. I'll never budge on anything. Never Good. compromise. Mm-hmm. A guy I worked with told me that. You know what happened to him? Was he killed by the Batman? <laughs> yes, he was. Oh. <laughs> Machine gun. Wow. Yeah. But uh, no, look, I yeah, I, I do want to see it, but mm. we'll, we'll, we'll see, won't we, Mason? Yes, if we, we do will. See it. Well, let's talk movies. The other things that they talked about also, Mason. Yes. Uh, they, they officially announced the Green Lantern Corps movie, which I thought was already... I thought, announced? Yeah, I, they've double announced yeah, it. Good, great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you think we weren't serious? We're serious. We meant it. Because mm-hmm. they, I remember they did a DC special on TV like a year ago before Batman v Superman, and they announced it then. Yeah. Like they had a logo and everything. Ooh. Anyway, uh, no Green Lantern though, which I thought they might throw out some. They didn't do any casting, which which kind of surprised me. Mm. Uh, but they also had the new Justice League trailer, which was four minutes long. Mm. It's been a year since the first Justice League trailer. Four minutes, that means that the movie's going to be about three hours long, I think. <laughs> Potentially, yes. It's going to be a heck of a lot of movie. Now, I did my breakdown, Mason. It's under mm. the couch and below. Yep. It's below. But what did you think of the Justice League trailer, trailer three, four minutes and four seconds? Looks pretty interesting. It did. Mm. Do you see reshoots in this? Because the rumour is heavy what I, reshoots. I, if, if, you wanna, if we want to point out what is clearly Joss Whedon's work, I think the joke at the end, yes, where they're all on all the the four current players of the Justice League are on the roof. Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman disappear, and mm. the Flash is like, "Hey, that oh, they just disappear." Well, these that's cool Whedon. Dudes. That's yeah. Whedon all over. And I think the Red Sky might be Whedon. They've changed the color that's, palette. Oh, okay, right, interesting. To be like, can we do another gray sky with blue lightning ending? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Right. Yeah. Okay. I actually quite like the bit where he's like, that's rude. I agree. It's fun. I thought it was great, yeah. yeah. And I also like the other joke about the Flash saying he doesn't fight, he just pushes people and runs away. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I like that a lot. So mm. I don't I, I don't know how that's, you know, if, I don't know whether people are going to respond to him as well as they have the, the TV show version. Yeah. But, but it's, it's you know, it's decent. This does feel like, I don't know, I but I'm still not 100% sold on these battle sequences. There's a lot of the Batmobile flying about and yeah. flinging off. Bloody there's some parademons. There's and some pretty kind of suspect green screen where it's just, it's not even the green screen. It's just, it's another kind of big, empty, abandoned space where everybody's kind of shooting yeah. machine guns and crashing into each other. Yeah. I what what are the what are the stakes in? I think they were like, well, we don't want to do this in the city because yes, people don't people don't like that in DC movies. Uh-huh. So yeah, I, I know. I just but again, it's not. 
it, it's not. It doesn't feel real. Yeah. If, if you're not in a city, because what are the heroes there for if not defending their respective cities? Like that, it, D- DC heroes especially. Yeah. All have their own city that they defend. So, but this is the docks, Gotham, <laughs> Metropolis, Fish City, Astro City, Astro City, Amazonia, Amazonia City, <laughs> yeah. Arizona, the home of the Amazons. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I, I I still think it's a it's a good trailer. Mm, like I, okay, I did yeah. I did enjoy it, mm-hmm. but uh, I I don't know I. Because Ray Fisher also came out, who's the cyborg, and yes. he said the reshoots we did weren't that significant, which conflicts. And everybody was like, "Woo!" I that's, saw the footage. Exa- oh, Woo! Sorry, yeah. Which conflicts with what we've been hearing. So when we've heard that before, and then uh-huh. you see the movie, and you're like, "Oh no, that that was a lie." Like that happened with Rogue One, but so we don't know at this point mm. which way it's going to go. Yeah, I'm going to say Ray Fisher, you're a liar. Well, maybe his scenes weren't extensive. Well, exactly. Maybe I think, were, yeah. So. And I think, and again, it's all entirely relative. Yeah. They might, they might brief him beforehand and they're like, if they say other extensive research, uh, reshoots. Say we think, didn't read a single comic on research. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if, there, if there's, a, you know, if, if somebody asks if there's extensive research, ask them how to define extensive. Yeah. Do they mean one million new scenes? <laughs> Because if they don't, no. No, That's yeah. how we define extensive. Yeah. Mm. But also, and I said this in my trailer breakdown, Mason. All right. I can't we get it. You've got enough. a YouTube account. We get it. A lot of these scenes, they couldn't have reshot and then got them done in time. Oh, like special the rooftop, effects wise. Yeah, the rooftop stuff, like the little jokes, of, you know, just the, the stuff of, you know, up close, you can do. You can knock that out in yeah. 20 minutes. But you yeah. can't have a, a spider tank crawling up a wall. No, like that's in true. In a matter yeah. of weeks, it's mm. not possible. Yeah. So I think maybe I think largely the battle sequences will probably be unchanged. But uh, all right, <laughs> except for the red, they're gonna make it red. Yeah, I can make it red. You can yeah. do that. You can you can even do that with a piece of cellophane yes. over the screen. <laughs> Every person in the cinema is issued a ticket and a piece of red cellophane, <laughs> and there's a flashing sign in the corner of the screen when you get to the battle sequence. You put the red cellophane <laughs> over your eyes. See, that's smarter because my idea was, oh, they just roll cellophane over the screen, but mm. yours is smarter. Or is it in the long term? Because you have to give everybody cellophane. But also, yeah, people will go back twice because they'll be like, maybe I want to see it without the cellophane. Ah, so they have to buy two, yeah. two tickets. You know I want I mean? a cellophane screen that rolls down in the battle sequences really slowly, like the tennis roof closing when it rains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it squeaks all it takes the the length of the entire battle sequence to squeak all the way down and then the battle finishes and then it starts to squeak all the way up again. <laughs> yeah. Or they tear it off like a roll of toilet paper. Oh yeah, they could do that, I guess that's true. Uh what else happens? Oh, we get some more Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Yeah, he's good. Doing well. I like him a lot. We get a little joke about uh mechanical penguins. Yes. Which was fun. Yeah. Mm. Uh what well, someone said on Twitter, uh I think it was to you. Does that does that confirm that this is in the Burton verse? <laughs> I well, see, that's the thing. Yeah, I I I still reckon it does. Yeah, and again, it does. I mean, look, you don't really think that, do you? I'm not against it. <laughs> and people are like, well, what if Elf was really old? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know, but still, Ben Affleck has different hair than uh, exactly. Michael Keaton. I'm as well. also willing to su- <laughs> I'm also willing to suggest that at one point Alfred fell into a Lazarus pit and he regained his youth and he turned into Jeremy Irons. Yeah, that's very possible. Mm. Yeah, Every, um, everyone comes out as Jeremy Irons. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, Stephen Wolf. Or what, what were you oh, going to yeah. say? Yeah, that's. Uh, oh yeah, he looks like an big armored and, guy, doesn't he? A big, big armored gray, guy with a big, big weapon. A big and gray guy who shoots lightning at smoke and Pretty fire. Pretty great, excellent yeah. work. I, I'm so, looking at that. I'm like, you, you went with the a big gray guy again. Mm. This is the third big gray guy we've yeah. gotten. We got a boom tube effect. Zod was a gray guy as well. Anyway, sorry. We got, the, we, got the, we got the Sorry, boom, boom tube, tube effect. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, not as great as I thought it would be. Yeah. It's, I thought it would be more dramatic if I'm honest with you. It's called it's a, a boom tube. Is the boom tube, does it come down from the sky or is it a portal that opens and you step out of it? That's what I thought it was. Yeah, it's more like that. In yeah. the comic books, it sort of rolls in. Yeah. Usually from the side. It kind right. of... Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Yeah, right? that is... Yeah. Mm. Now that you mention it, yeah, that is a bit disappointing. It looked like the... Like a laser shooting into the sky. No, it looked like that. Movie. There used to be an old DC logo that had all the holes in it. Like, like in that. movies? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't remember that one. Doesn't matter then. Was it from um, Jonah Hex? Probably it was from Jonah Hex. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Uh, uh, what, what else? else? What else, Mason? Uh, all right, the, the end bit. What end bit? The end bit, Jeremy Irons is there and he's like, Ooh, oh, yeah, I didn't of course. think you'd be the here, but you're here. Ooh. Do you think it's... It's Superman. Yeah, 100% is. It's 100%. I would love to... There's been a lot of speculation. Yeah. I would love it to be... I mean, he's got the red cape. Yeah, you can, you can see, see it's it, red. Yeah. It's definitely red. But 
So it's not even the black suit Superman. Boom! I know, right? That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted too. And the mullet, obviously. Yeah, it would be nice. You better have a fucking mullet. There's been a lot. Yeah, there's been a lot of speculation that could be some other people. Uh, You know, Steppenwolf's like, oh, there's no lanterns protecting this. Yeah, he's red. It could be a red lantern, I guess. With a cape. Yeah. Well, you don't know. You can't see. It It could be just a shoulder. You don't know it's a cape. Yeah. Yeah. Supergirl. Could be Supergirl. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Uh, With a red cape. Supergirl's a red cape. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, red Robin. Yeah, I mentioned mm-hmm. that one in my trailer breakdown. Link nice. below. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a lot of people have said, well, it's green. It could be a Green Lantern. Mm. Maybe he's got a cloak on. But I mean, it, realistically, I would l- I would love it to be Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter. Yeah, red, red blue cloak. cape. But he's got a blue cape, doesn't he? Oh yeah, it's got some yeah. red on. It. Sure. Yeah. It's. <laughs> I mean, it's also a quick fix. Yeah, they could change it. That it might be a might could be, be a fake a, out. Could be a fake Which out. I'm totally could cool be a black with. cape, black Superman, black cape oh, on. Imagine. Pretty imagine, pretty good. But see, that's the thing. I, I would love it to be Green Lantern, especially mm. because then we'd have the seven person team. Yeah. Uh but like logistically, it wouldn't work because you couldn't. Like I know people are like, oh, they you know they put Flash in Suicide Squad. Yeah. But again, you could do that in five minutes. Yeah. Just have him. Pretend he's going to a costume fitting. You put him in an office with a green screen. You film it, then you put him in a bank vault later. You can yeah. do it in five minutes. But this, you'd have to secretly cast somebody as Green Lantern. Yes. And then... Film it on a green screen. Film it <laughs> Film with the other actors. Oh, yeah, that's all, yeah, maybe. Not necessarily, but yeah. I mean, I guess you could, yeah. yeah, you, yeah. You, you could composite it together. Yeah. But then in the end result would be some people are surprised that Green Lantern is in the movie. Yes, yeah. What's the what's the payoff? Most people will be like point out and go, didn't they do a movie Wasn't with there, him? Is he can he hurt it? Superman? Is that why he's green with the green <laughs> with the thing? Right? Yeah, that's boss. Yeah. So I'd like to be, but I don't think it is. Yeah, do you think he will show up, or one of them will show up, like I in post credits? So. Yeah. I think so. They'll have. I mean, they met. They mention him in the trailer. Or they yeah. mentioned them in the trailer. Mm. I did like that mention, but he was like no Kryptonians and no no lanterns. Yeah, so, but well, well, he says, well, he says no lanterns, yeah. plural, no plural, Kryptonian, yeah. or Kryptonian, yeah, which so is you're right. which means there's one. Well, it implies that first of all that he knows about Superman, and yeah. he's been there, and that's why he's gone. Be- that's why he's invading because yeah. Superman's gone. But it also implies that there were Green Lanterns, but they're off. Yes, doing something else. They're off doing, or which which might lend lend credence to our theory. Yeah. That Hal Jordan's off in deep space. Yes. Or whichever Green Lantern we have is off in deep space, yeah. doing something, and he hasn't had time to look into this. What What's his name from uh, Fast and Furious? The guy that Vin I Vin Diesel. No, the other bald guy, not Jason Statham. The Rock. Not the Rock. Everybody's uh, bald and yeah, I know. Michelle bald Michelle Rodriguez. No, no, what's his name? He's the worst one. He says all the jokes. Oh, he's yeah, Tyrese Gibson. Yeah, he, he he's like he. I've spoken to DC about being John Stewart. No, nah, don't make it. Not him. him. Not, Not him. anyone him. but him. <laughs> yeah. Um, get Usher. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if Usher can act, okay. which I fairly said he can't. Anyway. Uh, you know what I did like about this trailer? What's that? With Superman gone, the only one you see fighting Steppenwolf is Wonder Woman. Yeah, right. Because he would kill any of the any of the rest of them <laughs> in a true, second. Yeah. Aquaman might. Oh, survive that's true. A punch. Yeah, that's actually true. Mm. But Wonder Woman is probably a better fighter than Aquaman. She's certainly better at fighting big, tall, grey men. <laughs> so sure, yeah, yeah. So I liked that where Wonder Woman then assumes that role of uh-huh. the kind of brawler yes. when when Superman's dead. Do you think the Person robbing the bank at the start is anyone. I think it might be, yeah. Yeah. I said, I said maybe Black Mask. Yeah, okay. Because he's got the suit. Yeah. Because uh, you know they don't they purposefully don't show his face. Yeah. So and but he, and his and his coat has a red lining in it. Oh, so do you think it might be? Well, I don't think it, I don't think the color's significant, but I think that like he's the he's the boss because there's a whole bunch of generic dudes. Yeah. And then there's this one guy who has a very specific look. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I agree. He's got gloves on, Two Face. Yeah, it could be Two Face. Yeah. yeah, well, he's not the half suit though. That's true. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Also, that might be London. Well, maybe it's a more sensible Two Face. Yeah, yeah. Because it wouldn't. Mm. If anybody can think of who it might be, let us know at oh. Wikipedia Brown at Mister Sunday Movies. Because yes. it could. Is it some sort? Of, maybe it's some sort of English based villain. Yeah. The Queen know. could be the queen. could be the Queen, could right? Be Prince Philip could be Prince Philip. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, I think it. I think it. I mean, it would be kind of weird if it wasn't anybody. Like, yeah. why are you not showing it? That's true. It kind of reminds me of the start of The Dark Knight where you don't see the Joker until... Yeah, you right, until so it takes the mask kind off, of yeah. a bit of that, but I bet it's not as good as that. <laughs> no, correct. <laughs> Does anything else happen in the trailer? Let me think. Uh, oh, that's what I was thinking. Potentially, 
if we are going to get a Green Lantern in this movie, potentially what happens is we get a Green Lantern in the final battle yeah. and it's... Like, like an alien one. Yeah, like it's Abin Sur yeah. or somebody who they could conceivably CGI in a room yeah, yeah. with a voiceover guy. Then he dies and then the ring right. is sent around the world to the next available operator, yeah. which is Hal Jordan or whoever. You'd think it would just go to one of the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, like Batman probably. Yeah, like Batman. Well, he's had it before. Searching for most fearless, capable <laughs> candidate. Oh! Boop, Batman. <laughs> That was easy. Yeah. I once flew across the galaxy to do this. Mm. Uh, I like Batman in it as well. And you see Cyborg doing some cyborging. Yeah, he's always he's cyborg in the Batmobile. Yeah. you got to be I, fun. Because I think up to this point, if you don't know him, you'd be like, what, what is he for? This I robot guess that's true, man. yeah. yeah. He's yeah. going to turn the Batmobile into a giant robot though, right? I think he just is operating it. But that sounds way better. Yeah. Yeah. Because you could so. do that with a steering wheel. Yeah, that's true. He should turn into a giant robot. Like a big cyborgy robot. Yeah. You can see as well, he's like waste is the same as the the parademons kind of he's got the same kind of tech on him. Yeah. Because he's right. built from a mother box. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh that's cool. That thing. is cool. Well, so I think the CGI on him is okay. A lot of people mm-hmm. don't like it. I think it's fine. Yeah. I think it's fine too. I think it's yeah. quite good. Yeah, maybe anything it's else, also got Does better. anything else happen in this trailer? I feel we should squeeze every nugget out of it. That's right, we're squeezing nuggets. We've been going over an hour. We don't have to, Mason. Okay, let's not squeeze any more nuggets. <laughs> Forget about it. But if you think of something, feel free to... I'll just jump in like I always do. Exactly. Just barrel over the top. Anyway, woo! I'm quite excited yeah, about this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it might be total garbage. Yeah, who knows? Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, do you think they filmed extra Amazon scenes? Maybe, yeah. Because Wonder Woman was so popular? It's very possible, I yeah. think potentially they've regathered all the Amazons. Yeah. Like, I think... Uh, Bloody Steppenwolf's appearance in Themyscira might have been added. Yeah, because they're like, we need another. We didn't Amazon see a mother because we didn't see a mother box in. Um, though I think it was said prior to this that the Amazonians and the Atlanteans both have mother boxes. Oh right, okay. Like they have one and men, men have one, but they've probably lost this. Well, they buried it. Didn't oh, they? they buried it. That's they right. Buried they buried in a very too. shallow grave. Oh yeah, and what's Miles Dyson found it? Oh yeah, yeah. I guess so it's just in his garden. It's just in his garden. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, Marvel. All right. Yeah. Uh, they opened with Captain Marvel concept art. Okay. Which was cool. I didn't say it. Uh, it th- that's cool, Mason. Does it look like Captain Marvel? Yes. Does she like have the asymmetric no, haircut? No, she's okay. got the regular looks, haircut. Looks like Brie Larson. Okay, yeah. cool. But there's a few interesting things about this. That's handy because they've cast Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, then that, it's worked out. That wasn't what I was saying. That's mm. what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, interesting things from this. The, the villains are the Skrulls. Yeah, which right. Which means they got them back from And it's the Fox. proper Skrulls. It's the proper it's Skrulls. Not. It's not the Chitari, yeah. which are kind of the Skrull light that they went for. They yeah. look goblin-y and green and yeah. it's all happening. Mm. The other thing is there's two-eyed Nick Fury because this movie is set in, in the, the 90s. 90s, which is cool Yeah, because we've talked about before there's so much space in between Iron Man and like the Captain 60s. Captain America, yeah, in the 60s. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that you can fill in mm. and... I think, yeah, why, why not? Why wouldn't you? Exactly. Why wouldn't you? Sounds really yeah. good. I mean, spider Man sitting 2014 or 18. Oh, isn't the it? distant past. <laughs> Ugh. It makes me sick just to think about it's it. It's either slightly before or after just now. Remember our haircuts back then? Oh, please oh, no don't good. remind me, Mason. <laughs> but uh, no, I like all of that. Yeah. I think it's super great. What do you mm. think about all of that? Though? I think it's super great. And woo! Yeah. Uh, what else? Anything else about that in Can particular? we get an Agent Coulson cameo? Because he's not dead in that. Continuity. I guess they could do it. I mean, there, he's, yeah. he's still he's not dead now. Do you think he'd have to wig up for the nineties? Yeah, a bit more hair. Yeah, maybe like pop. Remember, remember when they did? Remember in Iron Man three? Yes, they're all they're all they all look like characters from Pop Fiction. It's mostly Happy Hogan. Yeah, it's Happy but Hogan. Yeah, yeah. I reckon the same. Yeah, Doing the same. Cool. Mm. And this kind of begs the question: Where is Captain Marvel? Oh, right now. Yeah, I reckon space. I, I'm gonna say like in a scroll prison ship or something like okay. that. Okay. And she's been there for a long time. Yeah, maybe. and she doesn't age because of whatever. Because she's got like Superman level strength as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dep- well ish. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, stronger like- than us. Pfft, yeah. Hardly. Jeez, he's a crossfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that'll be an interesting. Like, because we, I think she'd probably be the most uh, next to the Hulk, the most superpowered character. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, the Hulk's just strength, though. He doesn't have kind of other stuff, does he? He's strength and smashing and stuff that's true yeah, which is nothing that, not there's anything wrong with that mm. that's that's his thing but no that's that's very exciting i thought that was a really strong opening yeah uh then they went to ant-man uh and the wasp 
and they announced the casting of Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, it's Janet Van Dyne. Janet Van Dyne. Ooh, la la. Do you think we're going to get some de-aging? Wait, so is this... This is a sequel. This isn't set in the 80s. Maybe well, but, some of it was set in the 80s. Well, I think some of the stuff they showed was a, a younger Hank Pym. Yep. And I think they also showed an older Hank Pym in a newer Ant-Man suit. Okay, sure. So we're probably getting some flashbacks and they'll maybe grab her out of the microverse or whatever it's called. Cool man. Whatever it's called. Cool man. Mm-hmm. I like that. I think that's great casting. Mm-hmm. I don't know who this is, but Hannah John uh, Cameron is playing the ghost. Okay. I don't know who that is. Nice to see the ghost. Who's the ghost? The ghost is like one of Iron Man's sort of uh, industrial espionage themed villains. So oh, can one turn... of those 50, <laughs> yeah. 50 villains. Well, they did Justin Hammer, didn't they? That's true, they did. And they did Whiplash. They haven't done... They've, they've still got Spy Master. Yep. They've got Crimson Dynamo. Uh, who's just like Red Iron Titanium Man. Titanium Man. Yep. Which is Green Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sunturian, who is a guy with a mustache who lives on a space station. Very good. But he turns into like Iron Man, but he's like light. Living uh, Laser, <laughs> who's like Iron Man, but he's light. Uh, who else? Is every one of these something but like like Iron Man, but he's something? Is that every one yeah, of these? Yeah, I mean that, that's that's his whole that's his whole bit, really. Yes, yeah, yeah. So they're all yeah, tech based. I get yeah. you. But anyway, ghosts can turn invisible or intangible, but not both at the same time. Okay. Mm. Invisible and intangible. So invisible okay, yeah, yeah, or walls, yeah. okay, but not yeah. the same time. You can just hide in a wall. You yes, you can hide in a wall. That's true, yeah. right? Wow, you buy gum, you've done it. <laughs> uh, Walt- I hope there's a scene like that in the movie. <laughs> you can just hide in a wall. That's not all. Uh, Walter Goggins is Sonny Burke. Sonny Bono. Yes. Of Sonny and Cher. I don't know who that is. I may have spelled that wrong. Anyway, I don't know who which, that is. Which part? Uh, the B-U-R-C-K. I don't know. But the chairman of Cross Technologies. Oh. Which I Because there was Aaron Cross was in... Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Other one, I don't know that character, but I know Walton Goggins. Okay, good. Wally Goggles. And He's in the Shield. Okay, go Wally. You know Goggle. You know Wally, Wally Goggles. Goggles. I know yeah. him. Yeah, Wally Goggles. Uh, Randall Park uh, as Jimmy Wu. Do you know Jimmy Woo? No, but I don't I, know either of those guys. But I enjoy, I'm going to enjoy saying his name. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Straight after this. And this is what I like. like Lawrence Fishburne as Dr. Bill Foster or Goliath. Fun. Uh, who is one of the... Well, he kicks off one of the... He gets killed by Robot Thor in the Civil War comic. That's true. And then he goes... He gets his head punched out, like his brain punched out of his it, head. Doesn't it? No, Thor does. Oh, okay, right. Like Hercules. Yeah. But he blasts the hole through him. Yes. And then he goes into... I think Tony Stark makes an... Like heaven, like a version of virtual reality heaven. Yes. And then they go in and get him. Huh. Or something. Because okay. he comes back. Right. Do you reckon it's going to be a flashback? Maybe. You know what is good? Going back to Captain Marvel briefly. Mm-hmm. If there's you can any character, Pym. sorry, you could do Hank Pym. Yeah, that's how I go on. Well, I was going to say if there's any characters that they want to like retroactively change, if they're like, I don't like the character, you can just reveal they were a scroll all along. Exactly. Right. I had a question about that actually. I was saving it, okay, but you great. but you blew it. That's right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, actually, you know what? that being I'll, said, I'll there's say. not that many characters that I hate enough that just Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> but you could even be like. For the last movie, this person was a scroll. That's true, yeah. So, which is which is kind of cool. Mm. Uh, they also showed some Black Panther footage, which is apparently very good. Great. Uh, they had a poster for that as well. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, we got some. I think the poster looks great. There was some very top of a panther. Yeah, the panther gargoyle head type thing that we saw at the end of Civil War. Mm. Yeah, for some people that was like the highlight of the uh, of the panel. Mm. But they didn't release it, Mason. Thank God for that. I didn't have to. Didn't do have it. to. <laughs> Uh, and then they went with the Thor Ragnarok um, yeah. reveal, mm. which was another trailer, which was a lot of fun, but maybe showed a bit too much. Look, you know, I think this is the first trailer where we should say, potentially, if you haven't seen the Thor Ragnarok trailer, there is potentially some spoilers yeah. regarding like the allegiances of certain characters. Yep. So if you don't want to know who, who, who certain people even are. Yeah, or and you don't want to know who teams up with who or who fights yeah. who. I mean, potentially some allegiances will go some like with it's a it's a movie that has Loki in it. Yeah. So potentially some allegiances might go some way and then switch to another way. Yeah. But if you don't want to know at all, don't listen to us ever. Yeah, because we'll probably bring it up between now and November. <laughs> yeah, this, exactly, right? When this movie is out. Mm-hmm. Uh there's more Hulk in this though, isn't there? Yes. And he talked. Talking Hulk. By the way, everybody, I did a trailer breakdown for this. Uh-huh. It's linked below. It's under the couch, Mason. Have did a look. Did it drive you mad? No, this one. Well, when, when you showed up here, I'd, I'd finished two trailer breakdowns. How did I look? You said uh, I looked small in my shirt. You, it looked like you'd lost a lot of water weight and you'd shrunk down in your shirt. You're all like a, like a, like some sort of crab person. 
<laughs> You'd have looked right at home in the bloody this bloody Ragnarok planet. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh so this Hulk has been Hulk for two years. Oh, okay. Which is why he can kind of talk more. He's got, apparently he's got the vocab of a two-year-old because I guess okay. he's never Hulk long enough to learn anything. Right. But does that mean when he transforms back into Bruce Banner that he loses it? Does all? he lose it when I he becomes the Hulk so. again? Because I think he still remembers things that oh, happened to okay, him. Okay, right. And I didn't mention this in my but. Bruce Banner doesn't remember what happens yeah, as the Hulk. But I guess so maybe it's, been, it's a switch. Yeah, well, that's right. It's been two years. So I guess if you haven't, if you've been locked in someone's mind for two years, you're going to be a just bit. Just wander off a bit. A bit kind of scattered. Yeah. Mm. It's it's definitely, it's pretty, it seems like it's going to be pretty wacky as well. Mm. There's some uh, there's some good jokes. Some good I like jokes. how Thor's like, oh no, I, I beat you with that, in that battle like yeah, right. quite easily. I thought that uh-huh. was, thought that was pretty funny. But, uh, no, I like this talking Hulk, even though he did talk in Avengers, but I guess he was just putting two words together. Yeah, then. right, exactly. Like he knows the word puny and he heard the word God, so he... Put them together, so he, yeah. So he, um, mm. so he put them together. But I think the reason Loki might be chained up is because he went there to see Thor fight and yes. then bet on Thor, and then the Hulk came out and he's like, oh no. Right, okay, yeah, sure. So, and that's probably why he's he was chained up, I'm mm. guessing. I don't know whether Maybe. that... Maybe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what else, Mason? Giant wolf? There was a giant wolf. Yep. There was a some sort of fire demon creature that I don't, I don't know who uh, that was. Serta. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Okay, because sure. it's because there's so many fire demons in the Marvel <laughs> universe. Yeah, right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a cool shot at the end. But I mm-hmm. guess again, that's that's probably something that happens at the end of the movie because you see them break out. Yes. And then go to Asgard. And yeah, then right. Fight Haller and 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 all that kind of thing. It's yeah. I think I don't know. I think they might have done a bit too much, but. Yeah, we've been. Spider Man was still good, and they revealed a lot. That's so. true. Yeah, that's true. We had a really good time. Spider Man. Who bloody uh, knows? What else? Great, some great graphics in it. Great the graphics. Marvel Studios bloody logo turning into Boo. like an eighties. Pretty good. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? I just I just spent about six hours on this. Oh Probably yeah. More, more like ten. So I don't. Can't form words anymore. I should know because mm. I just did it, Mason. Let me let me bring up my list. Okay, bring up your list. Of things that I hate about you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, Korg's in it. Played by Taika Waititi. Oh, fun. Yeah, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Apparently he's going to be like, he's going to do him like as a Polynesian bouncer. Like cool. really softly spoken, but you ever seen a Polynesian bouncer? Yeah, there? they're very, yeah. They're, they're very big. Yeah. And tough as nails, Mason. So he's, he's, he's okay. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be CGI. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, he's the CGI. CGI. You see him briefly in the trailer. I was going to say, they're going to put a muscle suit on Taika yeah. Waititi. <laughs> Uh, oh, the wolf's called Ferris, by the way. Fenris. Fenris, yeah. Who's a child of Loki, potentially. There you go. But I guess I'll change that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, no, there's going to be a very graphic birth scene. <laughs> there's uh, the, Also, Jeff Goldblum said at the panel that the Grandmaster was conceived with the Big Bang and he's the brother of the Collector. There so then I thought they were just wacky dudes in the universe. Uh-huh. But they are. they have been around for... Yep, mm-hmm. You know, again, the whole team, the Grandmaster, the Collector, the Runner. The runner. <laughs> I remember that one. The yeah. other ones. The other ones, yeah. Mm. Mm. Great poster too. Did you see the poster? Yeah, I did, yeah. Looks amazing. And we're getting away from that, uh, just a big face. Yeah. The, the logo or whatever, mm-hmm. which, which is which is cool. It seems like they're, and you see this more in Spider-Man as well, they're catering the posters to the tone that they want to hit with the, with the movies. Yeah. Which, mm-hmm. is, which is a... Pretty cool idea, Mason. Mm. Do you get the feeling as well Thor was really excited about getting a team together like the Avengers? Yeah, I was. <laughs> no, I mean, because in, in the previous trailer, Thor jumps out and he goes, yes, it's my friend from work. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, I love the idea that Thor thinks that the Avengers is like a job. Like everybody goes to work and they just fight monsters or aliens. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. he thinks this is a job that other people have because yeah. he's never had a job. Yeah. Like he's so excited. Like he, he must think that other people who go to work in an office and do photocopies are having as much fun as he is. Right. Because yeah. that's, that's what he thinks a job is. That's fun. So I love, yeah, I enjoy the fact that he's like, let's put a team together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, anyway, well, woo! Ooh, big woo for that. Big woo for that. Don't think if there's anything else in this. Oh, there's a bit where he's kind of all lightened up at the end. Oh yeah. Do you think he's at, like you know? Remember in the Avengers, he's like a battery. Like he takes in all that electricity at the top of the tower. And that's he, right. Yeah. In the tower. And he, and he, do you think that's what he does, or do you think he's like maybe? Do you think he's more powered than he thinks? Like he's got Mjolnir inside him. It's maybe. In my trailer breakdown. Maybe it's his magic belt. Yeah, it could maybe be. Maybe he magic remembers belt. he's got a magic belt <laughs> that they mentioned in Homecoming. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they do mention that belt in Homecoming. Actually. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh. 
Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Mm. Because in the first Thor movie, he loses the hammer. Yeah. And of course, he has no powers, but then he... But regains... everything's stripped off him though, yeah, then as well. Then rega- yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But then he gets it back, you were saying. And then he regains his power, but then yeah. the hammer's destroyed. So yeah. Is that, that Who knows? Mm. Do you think he'll get the hammer back? Yes. This leads us perfectly, Mason, into yes. uh, the leaked trailer for... Avengers Infinity War, mm-hmm. which you watched. Yes. The worst aspect ratio of anything that's ever been. Yes. But I still watched it. Look, I, I've mentioned on this show before, like I kind of feel like Comic-Con, like going to Comic-Con is probably not for me. The great. But then I think, you know what? Wouldn't it be fun to be like around like thousands of people who love all the stuff that I love and they're all enthusiastic about it and they're clapping and cheering and you know, there's... You get to see stuff before everybody else and there's famous people and you can yell a question at Robert Downey Jr. He might yell back at you yeah. to have a good old time. But then I, I watched this trailer and I thought, you know what, if this is a microcosm of what Comic-Con is like, it feels like hell to me. Like, yes. a, li- like a living hell. <laughs> and apparently this year was this, even the tra- worse. The like- trailer goes for like a minute and a half. Yeah. There's... No one stops wooing the whole time. <laughs> it's there's a constant. It's constant wooing. There should be someone it's at the start. Woo yeah, who is some sort of actor. I think someone should get up at the start. Chris Hardwick probably. Yeah, because he's doing just be like, listen, can we all shut up for this? I reckon they should do it once. No, I reckon it should be shame based. So they they do it <laughs> once, and everybody woos for every fraction of like the entire time, and then they wait the ten minutes for people to to calm. Yeah, and then they go, okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Now we're going to watch it again. If everybody could shut up <laughs> for people who actually wanted to watch it and take it in before they wooed. You know what it is? It's people who look and again, you enjoy how, however you want. Disagree. Like, like Don't the, woo. The, the, no, the people, because that's the thing. The people who are in there, they want to woo. Well, they've, they're, they're, they've lined up for three days. Exactly. But I think what, what, what happens there is that the Marvel logo comes up and people start to woo and yeah. then something happens, like a character appears At the and then you have to woo. Yeah. Like it's 2,000 people in a room who have to, who've decided they need to convince everybody else that they're the best fan <laughs> of everything. So if they, if they don't woo at some, if they don't, if they stop wooing Never and, stop. And, a, and a character appears on screen and they don't woo, it looks like they don't get the reference. <laughs> right. And so they're going to look like quite the fool and then they have to sit down and then... Uh, eventually, there's only one person left. I think it's okay. And then not Robert Downey Jr. makes out with him. <laughs> but uh, my feeling, right? So, so I no, think it's okay to not get a reference. Me too. Just but I'm cares. saying that in the like in the again, like you said, they've been in, they've been waiting for four hours in a line. That, that is already, generous. You're as already well. the best fan. Yeah. You don't have just. Sh- you're one of the two thousand people in the world who get to see yeah. this. Imagine if they went into the movies like this. Like the Marvel logo Mate, came up and people were I just would, like, woo, I recognize nah, that logo, woo. No, nah, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I, I, I'd have to say something. Settle down, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Settle down a bit. Settle down, It's right? a bit much. Mm. That being said, yep. even from the aspect ratio and the wooing, this looked amazing. It's pretty good, it looks, right? Mm. Even just seeing Thor on the Milano with the Guardians is just kind of... Yeah, right? Uh, mm. Like that's... And what I love about this compared to, say, the Justice League is... These like Thor was out in 2011, Guardians was 2014. You know, mm. we've seen these guys separately, yeah, right. And it's weird to see them together, isn't but it? But it also makes sense because they're built up. So I guess at the end of Thor Ragnarok, he's just flung into space. Yeah, right. Maybe sure. Yeah, or it's. I mean, it's a, maybe it's an unrelated adventure. It could be an unrelated adventure. You're, mm. abs- you're absolutely right. Uh, what else is there? You see Captain America the beard. People wooed that. Yep. Don't need to. We don't need to wear a beard. It's uh, fine. We see Spider Man. Everybody wooed that. He was on a bus. Yeah, I've taken buses. You don't need to woo it. It's fine. Do you think that's? I think they wooed him more than Doctor Strange because we just got Spider Man. Oh yeah, totally. Like if yeah. we just got Doctor Strange. Yeah. But even seeing like, and we talked about this last week because we talked about the footage description. Yes. Even seeing like Star Lord and Doctor Strange together, well, that's an awesome combo, isn't it? Though, yeah. And they're they're both attacking Thanos mm. uh, with his big bald dumb head, and we saw the bit how he pulled the planet. Yeah. He just. Took it in. Would have been nice to see it at a better angle. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whose fault do you think that is? The guy who filmed it. Yeah, what are you doing? Just get one of those. Get one of those pairs of glasses with the camera in it. I, and that's look what at I it. always think. I think because we go to stuff early occasionally. Yes. I could wear a pair of those and nobody would know. Exactly. I mean, I remember once they said they had infrared goggles to kind uh-huh. of see if anybody had any technology. Mm-hmm. But even then, just be like, there's. A, 
my glass. You can't have my, <laughs> can't I have I my don't glasses. Know. Yeah. I can't have my glasses, all right? Yeah, so I don't know. Mm. I don't know what's going on there. No, it really looks great. But there's a guy at ABC, and I probably shouldn't say his name just in case. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he messaged me he, prior to this, and he said they'll show Black Panther and um, Ragnarok, but they probably won't release the Infinity War trailer till November. Okay, right. Yeah, So, but then again, now that it's leaked... That could change. Couldn't but also, if I was Marvel, I'd, I wouldn't release it to be like, that's it's a bad precedent for people coming and going, oh, if I film this, then they'll release it that's like, true, the next yeah. day. Because mm-hmm. remember, that's what they did with, well, nobody filmed it, but with the first Age of Ultron trailer, it yeah. got leaked to three days prior. So then they released it. Yeah. Yeah. And what I think they should do is they should release, they should release the trailer in HD so yes. we all get a good look at it and then... It says, "Do you like? Would you like to click on the next video?" And you click on the little next panel, and it's the person who filmed it being executed. <laughs> They'd get away with it. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and so, someone has to sacrifice themselves every time. What do you think about people filming this stuff and, and releasing it? Because I I have to watch it. Yeah, right. Well, I don't have to watch it, but I uh-huh. even if I wasn't doing this, I'd feel compelled to watch it. But then sometimes I'm like, that's probably not the ideal way that I wanted to kind of see. Yeah, that. I'd rather I'd rather not see it. Yeah, and then see it in HD at some point. Yeah, fair see enough. it nice and crisp at an angle that I'm comfortable with. Regular angle. Of, regular <laughs> angle in front of my face. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Anyway, I, I still, but also it makes sense they didn't release it because then they'd have trailers for three movies out before those movies are out. So there'd be yeah, Ragnarok, exactly, Black yeah. Panther and Avengers. So I think after Just Ragnarok, confusing. yeah, after Ragnarok's out. Yeah. Do we see Winter Soldier in it? Yes. He's got his arm back. I don't, I, not, I couldn't tell from That's the angle. That's embarrassing for yeah. him. If it's I only not. watched it once. I didn't yeah, know. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got to do, anyway, Big Woo, Mason. Woo! Not as big as Ragnarok though, I think. Yeah. I mean, eventually, yeah, probably totally. a bigger Woo than yeah. Ragnarok. Looks like a sweet as trailer. Mm-hmm. Now this section is co- section is called miscellaneous okay it's trailers that don't necessarily fit the mold mason okay if you're and a bit of news Mm -hmm. don't mind if we do uh bright which was a netflix original uh david ayer written by max landis scott will smith and um, joel edgerton Edgerton as an an unrecognizable joel edgerton this looks really good yeah yeah how did this this sort of came out of nowhere or do we we have talked well i think we have maybe we've talked about it briefly i'm sorry i should have said it's come out of nowhere uh for me, because I have no memory of anything we talk about on this podcast, so. <laughs> but no, I it's uh, I like the world, like yeah, okay, it's yeah. like it's modern day, except it's a, it's a it's a kind of a semi fantasy world where this stuff is just carried over into the modern day and just kind of. It's a little s- bit like yeah. Shadow Run. What's Shadow, Shadow Run? Shadow Run was like a cyberpunk RPG, but magic reemerged in the world. What year was that? Like the eighties. Oh. Rock, rock, ga- role playing game. Yes, okay. and it's been in video games and stuff as well. Okay, cool. Novels. Is it good? Yeah. So it's like orcs and Ferris wheels. <laughs> orcs and Ferris wheels. Precisely. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to think exactly. of a modern day reference. It's a bit like. It's a bit like. Well, see, initially I'm like, it's a, did you ever watch that movie Alien Nation? It had James Kahn in it. It was a TV no, series as well. I didn't. So basically, it was this spaceship crashes on Earth, and it's like a whole bunch of. Aliens that were like bred as slave aliens, okay. and they had them. They integrate them into society. It was about immigration, I think. Oh, it's a parallel. It's a parallel. It's a Initially, I thought it was a bit it's like a that, but I think this is more just. They're just in society. They're just in society, yeah. But also, this is apparently the first orc cop there's ever been. Oh. And in this universe, there ex- there exists like wish wish granting fairies and and things Wizard, like that. Of wands, magic is wands. What they called them? What's that? That was that. They had actual magic wands. Did you? So well, one no one person has a magic. I card. didn't see that. I missed that. What? Yeah. That's the whole point of the trailer. Because they pick up like an elf girl, and they're like, "This is a so and so." So I thought the person was a wish granting. magic. No, I think creature. it's the wand. I think the wand is magic. Uh, I think you're wrong. All right, we'll see. <laughs> okay, then good. Anyway, it looks fun. But do we? We don't get any sense of the origin of these mythical creatures. No. Did they emerge suddenly, or are they always been? With I feel us? like it looks to me like they've always been there. Oh. Like it was kind of Lord of the Rings esque, right. and then mm. things just progressed okay. as they kind of did for us. Cool. Yeah. It is cool. It is cool. Woo. And it's probably a simile, a parallel, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Uh, It'd be uh, nice to see something David Ayer does without a massive amount of studio interference. Yes. And if it's bad, we can write him off forever. Also, this is a ninety million dollar film. Hello. For Netflix, which is that ain't nothing, Mason. Mm-hmm, precisely. Especially, especially when you've got magic wands or people or mm-hmm. whatever it is. It's a magic wand. No, it's not. That's the MacGuffin. They got a magic wand. What are they going to do with the magic wand? Uh, Sterling, I had a question. Any thoughts on the Bright trailer? Yes. Good. Thought it was good. Thought it was good. Thought it was good. Yeah. Will Smith doing things again. 
weird that he do a Netflix film? Well, they probably gave him ten million dollars. <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. He probably he probably has to like he's the the scene where he swats the fairy, and mm. then the rest of the film he's just in the police car. <laughs> then he doesn't move for the rest of it. <laughs> Spawn's coming back. Oh, and Todd McFarlane, the creative Spawn, is directing the Spawn movie. I looked at his credentials. Hello. Uh, two of the things he's directed are Corn Freak on a Leash, the music video, and Corn Deuce, oh. the music video. Freak on a Leash is the one with the bullets, I think. I don't remember. That's a that's a classic. That's a classic early late nineties or possibly two thousands music video. But there's a bullet flying all about the place. It's missing all the innocent people. The remember. bullet it's flying about, unless I'm thinking of a different video. Mm, this is it. Okay. I'm 100% certain it's a right. wand or a person. Nice. But uh, <laughs> weird choice. If it, could, this could be like a Frank Miller, the spirit situation. Oh, it's definitely but he Because he, he owns Spawn, obviously. Yes. And he, and he sells a lot of merch for Spawn. Yep. Do you think this is a guy like a creator being like, no, I want this. I want to have complete control. If we're yep. doing this, I don't want to do a a shitty version like was kind yeah. of done in the 90s. What do, do we have any other details like who who's like casting or Yeah, like, or no, I mean really. more like who's who's paying like what Oh, yeah, I think they named a production company but I don't know. Okay, I great. Remember who, yeah. Yeah. Emblem Entertainment okay. under them. Uh Todd McFarlane, I've just looked it up, has a net worth of 300 million dollars, so he might be paying for it himself. Yeah, it's <laughs> cuz he could chuck 40 into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah, right. There you go. Do you think there's a chance that this will be good? Is it? Is well, it, I mean, is he, it the time for Spawn? It feels like been, it's, it's not never the been the time for Spawn. <laughs> I feel like there was a window, but we missed it. It was yeah, twenty by, years ago. Yeah, it was exactly. It was precisely. It was, it was three years before the Spawn movie. It was probably yeah. The it was time. that exact? Look, but I think at the same time, he knows this character better than anyone. Yeah. And if people want a one hundred percent accurate Spawn movie, this is going to be it. Do they though? Some people definitely probably do. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a? I don't know. I don't know any Spawn fans. No, I don't are. even hate Spawn. I have yeah. nothing against Spawn. I'm just mm-hmm. not. He's got a lot of chains, doesn't he? Yeah. I was more of a Savage Dragon guy myself. Yeah. He's Wet yeah. Works. Quilts Portations. <laughs> We're back there again. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk. Ivan Reitman says there's. Uh, Ivan Reitman. Ivan Reitman mm-hmm. says there's two more. I write JL movies, but I was meant to write. GB movies, Ghostbusters movies are coming. One as early as 2019. They're also doing an animated one. I'm presuming this is going to be linked to the previous universe and they're going to disregard the last one because people... Oh, really? I assume so. Oh, he did mention that one of the things that people didn't like about the last one was that it ignored the previous... Oh, yeah, sure, sure, right. Okay. So I think we're probably going to get a like a Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I, maybe just... No more Ghostbusters stuff. <laughs> yep, maybe. What do you think? You're a Ghostbusters fan. Yeah, I'm a Ghostbusters fan. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to see more of them? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I? I don't know. I'm I don't asking care. you. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so I don't care if there's another one or not another one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer there. Mm. It's fine. Uh, last thing. I liked last... the first one. Yeah. And it's, even though it's a bit problematic now, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> Beckman's kind of a creep. <laughs> There's that bit where he's like, don't worry, uh, Sigourney Weaver was acting up a little bit, so I shot her up with his horse tranquilizer. Like, <laughs> why did you have it on you? Why did you have Thorazine on you for a date? What are you doing? Yeah. Doesn't Dan Aykroyd have sex with a ghost? Yeah. It's pretty good. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> why'd they leave that in? Don't know. It's out of context, isn't it? Nah. It's hot. <laughs> You're right. It's, it's hot. hot. Uh, he's a weird Dude, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ready Player One. When we went to Will Anderson's Will Anderson, house. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. He's, he, look, can we say this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think It's not can. a thing. No. So Dan Aykroyd has a side business. I mean, it's his main business We've now. We've talked about this Where he, he, Crystal Head Vodka, where he sells his own brand of vodka and a crystal skull. When we went there, Will Anderson was using a bottle of it as a doorstop. <laughs> yeah. Signed by Dan Aykroyd. Signed by Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> Um, oh, to be that, to be that famous, to be that famous, oh. yeah. <laughs> Ready Player One. Oh yeah, a lot of people really like this. A lot of references. To me, it looked like it could be Speed Racer. Yeah, same. not that I've seen Speed Racer. Yeah, and as I've said before, I haven't really liked a Spielberg movie in like since Minority Report. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but okay. Oh, yeah, it's got Iron Giant. It's got Speed Racer. It's got. Back to the Future car. It's got the A-Team van. Does it? It's got, um, who, what else did I see? Next to the A-Team van 
is Christine, which is Stephen King's haunted car. Ah, That's in there. All the 80s references yeah, you know and love. There's a lot of references. What else? Have you read this? I have a copy. I've not read it. Okay. Uh, so it's a boy from the future who goes into the internet, but he loves 80s pop culture. The, the premise is that I, I believe yeah. that there's like a, there's an eccentric dude and he builds a virtual world called Oasis. Yes. And everybody loves it. And then he dies and he's like, I'm going to leave my fortune in Oasis and you've got to find it. In a car race. In a car race, exactly. Or in something. Somebody said to me on Twitter, because I threw it out there, I'm like, is this good for people who like this? Because, you know, when the, not The Shining, the cowboy one came out. The trailer for that, what's that one? Dark Tower. People who read the books were like, no. Okay, right. We should put it out here again, yeah. No, people seem to be on board for it. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, we also see Harley Quinn and Deathstroke, I think. I thought that was... De- is that actually... Yeah. It's Deathstroke. I, I didn't think. see Harley Quinn. I guess it's Warner Brothers, so they can... It's both of them together. They walk... They walk. Oh. When, as he enters Oasis, they're both leaving yeah. Oasis. And you see... Is that where there's the Iron Giant as well? We see, is it in that moment? No, it's it, like oh. immediately as he enters. Yeah. He's in, it's like a nightclub kind of looking oh, thing. okay. They're both walking out. Is it actually time. like the Harley Quinn, like Margot Robbie Harley Quinn, or is it... No, it's more like a... Like the 80s. It's like a frilly skirt Harley okay. Quinn. Like it could be... It's more like one of the Arkham versions. Right. The Arkham Knight versions. So are these character are these avatars that people like skins people have? I think so. Yeah, they'd be a, they'd all be Harley Quinns. Really, <laughs> exactly they? right. Yeah, if yeah. it was Look, real. Look, if Instagram is anything to go by, <laughs> we'd, we'd all be Harley Quinns. It'd be Harley Quinns and Deadpool's. That's yeah, what it would that's be. True, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, look, there's a lot of references in this, isn't yeah. there? I got uh, um, people requesting a trailer breakdown. Um, I don't know enough about the world, uh, mm. and it's kind of one of those things where I'd kind of like to go into it. Yeah. Not knowing anything about it, mm. having not read the book. Look, I think our arch nemesis over at Nerdist News have done a breakdown on it, which I'm sure contains what? a lot of references. Yeah, that's They're right. Dead. They're dead to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's really good. I'm Probably sure they, good, yeah. I'm sure they've got a very handsome nerd I bet to they talk do. about it. Is that it? I think so, yeah. We must have left something out. Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of letters which we'll save for letters on it. Um, but in the meantime, Mason, let's yes. do what we're reading. Oh, what are we going to read? I'm doing the theme. Uh, side note, I have, uh, I've got ready to read uh, Dark Days of the Casting, which is the the sequel to, well, it's the, it's the, it's another prequel comic to that Dark Knight's Metal DC crossover that's coming up. Okay. Where they meet all the weird parallel universe Batmans that are trying to kill them all or whatever. And you're well up for it, aren't you? I'm well up for it. I actually just went to our local comic book store and uh, they're, they're bringing back metal covers. <laughs> like Dark Days of the Forge and Dark Knight's Metal both have metal covers. Ironically? Uh, Dark Knight's the and both have metal covers. Very Well, metal. I don't know. Remember in the 90s when they just had to make novelty covers so I read terrible so, comics? So people would They're buy back, them, yeah. baby. Yeah, mad yeah. time, I say. So, I'm fi- so I've read I, Dark Days of the Forge was very good. Like it's it's pretty wild, but I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to read Dark Days the Casting. So it should be pretty good. Pretty too. wild. But, he but also we both watched Dunkirk, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Uh, did you see it in IMAX? No, I saw it in regular Max. Uh, what did you think? I liked it a lot. Yeah. I mean, it, well, likes likes a strong word, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, that's that's I, I don't know. I, I maybe I was really tired, but I didn't really get caught up in it. Okay, the way that a lot of other people did. I think I probably it's, need this to film see is it divisive. Again. Yeah, look, I definitely didn't hate it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not a movie. See, that's the thing. It's not a movie that I enjoy. No, of course not. Like, yeah. Whoa, what a fun time. Yeah, not everything has to be. Yeah. Uh-huh. Were you confused Mason. by that? There was some. <laughs> People were like this was Christopher Nolan's most Christopher Nolan-y work ever. Right. Oh, look, I think it was we very. Do a little bit of spoilers for this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Not? Okay. Yeah. Look, I think it was spectacularly well made. Absolutely. Um, All the kind of dogfights he did for real with either real planes or oh, wow. like models. Yep. And when they're getting shots like going over like a there's a boat and a plane crashes in front of it and they get that aerial shot like mm-hmm. that's hard to do yeah right in, see real, I felt yeah. quite invested in the characters even if we only saw them for a little see, bit I, but maybe I, you didn't for me it was some of them like yes. the the Mark Rylance boat I was well into yes but then the main character and I understood why he was why he was escaping and why he was doing what he was doing but he didn't have enough personality to me to make him interesting okay sure and, sure. Be, and also a lot of them had the same hair colour and haircut yes they really did and there was a lot of kind of uh you know, a boat would sink and then they'd break out and then they'd go. And I know these were also based on real things. Mm, yeah. Uh, but that side of it was not as appealing to me as like the Tom Hardy stuff and, okay, yeah. and the stuff on the, civi- the civilian stuff. Mm. Yeah. But mm. man, that a lot of that action was super tense. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole thing just kind of ramps up the entire way mm. through. Yeah. I don't know whether, if you're going to see it, you should probably see it now. Like don't, I, I'd imagine if you were watching this on TV, 
it wouldn't would have no impact. Yeah, well, less impact. Less impact. Yeah. yeah. It'd be like watching Pearl Harbor on TV. Or <laughs> Pearl Impact. Pearl Harbor has a lot of impact. They should have called it Pearl Impact. Pearl Impact. Exactly. Yeah. Like knowing that it was all in ca- like real stuff and they did it in camera was is obviously impressive. But do you think mm. if you didn't know that you'd be like, oh, this is kind of flat. Like this plays like an old movie. Like because remember in Pearl Harbor you'd follow the missile down and it would hit the ship yeah, and then right. the ship would like buckle as it kind of yeah. exploded. I think and this, I hate Pearl Harbor yeah. ship, but yeah, that's right. I think this was a deliberate throwback. Yes, to that like a midway or a, midway because you know yeah. there's a there's the, you know on one hand we've got you know people trying to survive on these you know transferring to and from these ships and on the other hand we've got sort of Tom Hardy's sort of he's on this quest yeah. to stop. You know, this, these bombers destroying the fleet and et cetera. Yeah. I don't know. I just felt like, you know how when you watch an old movie like that, there's always like, there's always just like a, a sweaty pilot. Yeah. And it's always just focuses on his eyes and then, the, then he's, he's rubbing sweat out of his eyes and then he's, then he's focused on, the, on his gun sight. And his, yeah. And I felt it was like, yeah. yeah I th- and I thought that, um, I thought it was very much a deliberate throwback to that sort of stuff. But yeah. again, like, I think not, maybe Nolan has watched a lot of those as a kid. Oh, almost certainly, yeah. Or as a, Middle aged man. man, whatever he is now, yeah. I don't know. And then he's like, I'm gonna make them the definitive modern day version of that. And yeah. I think that worked really well. Yeah. What did you think about the time shifting? Well, I was wondering whether you would hate it, because I, I was I was sitting there and as soon as it came up, first of all I was like, What is this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then obviously clicked that because it's it's set one week before, one day before, one hour before. Is yeah, that, right. that what it is? Yeah, I think so. He yeah. managed to work in <laughs> a time shifting element mm. into a. I knew it. Life. You I did. T- I said, you said it, and I, I was said, like, "No chance." I said, but you were "There's right. another shoe here to drop. He's going to put in something weird." I didn't hate it, but I was largely ambivalent. I thought it would have worked just as well as a straight ahead. I don't think you really, yeah, needed it necessarily. Mm. Yeah, because people are like, "Oh, he's used all the skills from." Memento and Inception to put it together. I'm like, I don't think he. It has. wouldn't have mattered. Like yeah. he could, he didn't have, he didn't need to to do it. And it's obviously a simpler thing than Memento. Mm. It was interesting the way that the the timelines kind of converged, uh-huh. and you saw them from different perspectives. Yeah, totally. And that kind of thing. Like like you said, and like all of his films, it's technically well made in the sense it's like a fine tuned machine, like a watch mm-hmm. or a cog, but several cogs, sure, several yeah. cogs mm-hmm. turning a a frog. Cogs turning a frog. Another uh, of our famous rhymes. Yes, but I don't know whether. Yeah, I, I wasn't super invested in. Uh, the, I like Killian Murphy. Actually, he was he was really good. In that yeah, well. right, right, right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, yeah. I don't. It's, it's definitely not for everybody. That's true. Yeah. Look, I think it's my favorite of his since Inception, which is like really two wow. Movies. Okay. How many movies has it been? A couple. Inter- Interstellar, Dark Knight Rises. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fair enough. I think I'm still of the Nolan films. I think I still like Memento and Inception more, but I enjoyed this one a lot. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Did you like you liked it more than Interstellar? Yes. See, I'm a I'm a sci-fi guy, oh, Mason. But, yeah, but you are. You love some. You love something a little bit different, don't you? Is sci-fi different? Yeah, no. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it's yeah. If you if you're on the fence, what do you say, Mason? I say go see go it. Go see it. Go see it again. Divisive, but at least. You know, it's divisive, but you might love it. Yeah. So I I think it'll be interesting to see when it comes to homes. Yes. Whether it'll be that thing that, that kind of gets another life, or even it might be one of those things where they'll re-release it in cinemas every five years, and you're like, oh, yeah, you've right. got to go see. It. You can only mm. see it in the theater. Look, I think if you're yeah, if you're on the fence, definitely see it at the cinema. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Good. Real. Very intense. Anyway. Yeah. Good, Cogs good and frogs. Cogs and frogs. Do the next thing, Mason. The next thing is our letters. But don't segment. make a big deal of it. The classic one was letters. Oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a take here right now we're gonna do letters yeah you got a, you got a, some tweets or some letters there James I got many tweets and yeah, you ready. have maybe some letters I tried to make them all related to uh, Comic your Con? butt oh what <laughs> gotcha Comic Con yeah nice uh, this is from Dara Superman mm-hmm. was a beacon to the world <laughs> make up your own mind Batman because <laughs> then he attached yeah, the, right. the thing of if there's even a 1% chance there's our enemy we have to destroy him I guess that's something he realised after yeah, look, I th- th- that's something I forgot to mention when we were talking about yeah. the Superman trailer. I think what they've decided to do is pretend that Batman v Superman was a different movie than it was. <laughs> that's possible. They've but just gone... Because th- th- none, none of that movie's about that. No. That movie's oh, all about... Briefly. Yeah, so. I mean, it's mostly Superman going, do I even want to protect any of these people or should I fly off into space? Yeah. And, Superman, and Batman's like, I'm going to kill him. But, okay, but the, the get around it for me is yes. maybe we didn't get the impression of that, and I certainly didn't. 
but he did save the world multiple times and he did sacrifice himself. And from the person on the street, yep. when you don't see his sad face lifting mm-hmm. a ship, you're probably like, this guy's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, so unless you have unless you have a personal sad interaction with him, yes, you would like their view of him will be different than our view of him. That's true. Yeah. yeah so mm. anyway, uh, Jeremy Franklin asked. We talk about Ben. His uh, subject line says Ben is totally out as Batman. Uh, he says the rest of his appearance on the on the panel was him going through the ch- motions and checking a promotions box. What do you think? Is he pulling a Michael Keaton or just a Daniel Craig? <laughs> do you think this is? Do you think he's got room to negotiate more yeah. stuff, more money? Definitely. Do you think he'd be like, listen, if you give me... What, maybe if he's like... They hey, need Matt, him more than he needs them. That's true. Yeah. Do you think he, he might be like, hey, Matt Reeves, you give me control over my scenes in this movie or like yeah. you give me a rewrite option, otherwise yeah. I'm out? I'm a, yeah, very yeah, possible. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be interesting to see how that kind of develops mm. either way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, this one, Ch- Ch- Chef. Nick Fury could potentially be a skull. A skrull? <laughs> he, would, he would be a skull. <laughs> could be there. a skull, yeah. Discuss. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Oh, that's a good question. I think after someone's going to be a skrull yep. in Avengers Infinity War, someone's going to be like, oh shit, Ant-Man was a skrull for this last however long yeah, or whatever. Right, yeah, right, wow, okay. I think you don't write them in without yeah. later. Who do you think could be a skrull then? Any of them. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I think they'll probably be like, they might even kill like Captain America and then be like, that wasn't Captain America. Yeah. yeah right. Like that. Do you think it, when do you, I guess the, my, my larger question would be at what point do you think you replace somebody with a scroll? Would it be, would somebody be a scroll since the nineties? Yeah. Or do you think somebody was, yeah. Well, that's cause they kind of did that with Hydra as well. They already did like everybody was secretly Hydra. Hydra, that's right. Yeah. My bloody PlayStation. Yeah, did, yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. What do you think? That's what they'll do. Uh, well, I think if they're going to introduce, they will on Agents of Shield. <laughs> yeah, I think if they're going to introduce the scrolls in the nineties, I think they've got to put in a, an agent from the nineties. Yeah, so maybe they have to reveal. Maybe that dude from Ant Man, that henchman. What's his name? That. What's his name? I was going to say George Michael. Michael Louis Louis Pena. No, no, no. The dude who Michael Michael Kane Michael Douglas cracks his head on the table. Oh right, sure, turns yeah, out to maybe. Be Hydra. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if he's Hydra and a scroll, well, like, is that be, too yeah. much? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. But not all scrolls are evil. Also, are they? No. Yeah. Hmm. Not all scrolls, Mason. That's precise. The very hashtag. Correct. Mm. Yeah. Uh I don't know. I feel you have to. I don't know. I guess they could. They could make like Hawkeye's wife a scroll. Oh, they have kids though. Yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah, I guess so. But did you got to replace him at? Replaced at some point. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, someone has to be a scroll mason. I agree. Who is it? Scroll hunt. But the problem also is that if you if you make somebody a scroll, then you take away some of their achievements. Yes. So like, if you were like, okay, this person's been a scroll since Avengers One. Yeah. Then you're like, well, what have they done? The scrolls done all yeah. the work, you know. It's a Mad Eye Moody situation. It is, isn't it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Not really. Mad Eye Moody was actually uh, David Tennant the whole movie and then at the end you find out that he was David Tennant and then the real Mad-Eye Moody shows up at the end and also in the next movie. What movie are we talking about? Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Good. So, hey, David, T- here's, here's a bit of a bloody spin-off question. Oh, yeah. Bloody to David Tennant. This isn't bloody... This isn't bloody... Is this Doctor com- Who related? This is Doctor Who related. Yeah, yeah. Adam Beadle wants to know what do we think of the casting of Jodie Whittaker as Doctor Who? Fine. Me too. Don't care. Yeah. We've done this so many times, I feel, yeah. uh, that I've developed a fable. It's sure. called a man who gets really mad about cheese. <laughs> so imagine, if you will, there was a man and he really loved a particular type of cheese. Yeah, yeah. Right? He loved it, which is fine. Could, could be could... Any, of our, one, any one of us. But then imagine he loved this particular type of cheese so much that if you said, hey, I love that cheese too, he was like, oh, yeah, tell me all the ingredients of the cheese <laughs> in order. Because that's the only way you can probably appreciate cheese. He's knowing all the minute details. You can't just enjoy it. You have to really be a prick about it. Anyway, one day he goes down to the supermarket to get his cheese. They've changed the box. Changes the shape of the box. And he gets real mad about it. He's like, I've been eating this cheese for 40 years. Is it the same cheese? It's the same cheese. Yeah. He's like, I've been, i never again. I'm <laughs> sick. I'm sick. I've been a good cup. What they're doing is they're just, it's not the same with a different box. It's the same. It's different. It's different. And people are like, well, why don't you eat the cheese? He's like, it's not the, po- maybe it's the same cheese. He's like, it's not the point. It's the principle of the thing now. It's just people. It's just the cheese company. They're pandering <laughs> to people. Who, who like cheese but don't like cheese as much as I like cheese. It's pandering to people who don't like cheese at all. They think they'll get more people to eat cheese if they change the box. It's just the bloody dairy justice warriors out there changing the <laughs> changing the, the shape of the cheese. It's a nightmare. Yeah. 
So that's what this is. That's how I feel about cheese. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> and you might say people out there, people out some gooses out there might be like, "No, Mesa, you, you, your metaphor doesn't hold up because this new doctor's a lady, and so she might characterize this doctor as a lady with lady, lady stuff and lady problems. Sure. And that's not what the doctor's about. Except, so it's like if they change the recipe for the cheese, then the cheese would taste different. Sure. Okay. But your metaphor falls down. Except the doctor, when the doctor dies, the doctor changes their appearance. And their characterization. So even like the, a cheese, like so, a different cheese. So if, the, so if this character, so if this bloody, if Jodie Whittaker changes the characterization of the Doctor, or acts exactly the same as the, the a previous Doctor, or does whatever, that's still within the characterization of the Doctor. Of the cheese. It's the same. It's the same. Of the cheese. Yeah, of the cheese. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. My metaphor's falling apart. But no, I I agree with you. I, it's just a different box. Yeah, that's right. It's it, and if and it will also change again. Yeah, it'll change in again in three exactly. to five years. And if bloody. What what you're saying is that the Doctor can look like anyone and have any characterization except for a, a look that I don't want and a characterization that we don't know yet. Yes. And I'm mad about it. The other thing is, and we talked about this maybe even a few years back. Yeah. We saw this coming. Yeah, you, totally. You have to have seen this coming because I think I, my theory was they put Capaldi in because he was older and they yep. went, let's test the waters, let's do something different. Then they made the master a woman, woman yep. which set the grounds for the universe that, that Time Lords could change sex. Yep. They did that leading up to this, Yeah, clearly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently they've been seeding it for ages. Yeah. So Anyway, look, again, I don't watch it anymore. So What's <laughs> next? Are they going to change the box of the cereal? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. It'll be someone else again. But you know what? What's next, Jane Bond? Yeah, fine. Good. Great. (laughs) We've said that for ages. Yeah, please do. Or don't. I don't care. Yeah, right? (laughs) Anyway, good stuff. But yeah, the other thing is, if you don't like it, there'll be another version that you do like or don't like. You know what I mean? It's in flux. It doesn't matter. It's temporary. Yeah. God. Cheese. Yeah. Shut up about it. I didn't get your metaphor. (laughs) Should we get cheese afterwards? (laughs) Yeah, let's get some some cheese. cheese. Uh, this is from uh, Jeff. Bearing in mind, I like cheese more than you. How dare you? Mm. I don't like it since they changed the box. Yeah. Uh, Jeff says, any chance in... Oh, yeah, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod to send out a tweet. And also... Uh, Weekly Planet, Planet Pod, Pod at, at gmail.com. Gmail. Send us a letter. Any chance Infinity War ends with the with an Avenger dying? Oh, and they'd have real a Skrull. Maybe that's where I just got that there thing from. Go, yeah. just, so Avengers 4 is Secret Invasion. Oh, or yeah, just, maybe, yeah. Or do you think they... Maybe they'd... They'd have to do Thanos again, surely. Do you reckon they'll defeat Thanos in this one movie? Yes. Okay. There yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. It's very possible. There you go. Uh, this is... Wait, unreal- we took Secret Invasion, though. Mm. Uh, look, I reckon if they do Secret Invasion, I reckon it'll be like... <laughs> yes, exactly. It'll be, it'll be fart noise. <laughs> but I think it'll be... It'll be like Civil War. It'll be Secret Invasion in name only. I think right. it'll be regular people who are scrolls, probably. It'll and maybe last one, two hours. Yeah, and yeah. one person will, one superhero will be a scroll, probably. I think. Okay, maybe. fair enough. Yeah, mm. I don't even remember. Have I read that? Have I read that, Mason? Secret Invasion. Yeah, I don't Did remember. I? Yeah, tell me if I have. Email I reckon in. you haven't. Yeah, you're probably right. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Helvor says, "Can you take the Sorting Hat quiz at Pottermore?" I did go to it once, but it was like, sign up. And I'm like, nah. No, nah, okay. If right. it was just enter your name and yep. get a whatever. Mm-hmm. So no. Yeah. I don't care what kind of frog I am. <laughs> uh, Matt, sorry, Halvor. Maybe one. I do like Harry Potter though, don't you? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the later we start these episodes, the more likely one or both of us is going to crack mentally. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Matt says, what was the best trailer from Comic Con? I reckon it was, for me, it was Ragnarok, I think. Why is that? It's colourful. It was colourful, it was wasn't colorful. it? It colourful. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Hmm. And it wasn't more of the same. I mean, it was kind of more of the same. But Justice League, I feel, was pretty spectacular and it was fun. But it was there was a lot of tall steel men and yeah. flames and, and smoke. It's also hard to say from the stuff that we kind of, like, do you count Avengers in that? You probably wouldn't, would you? No, I'm not going to count it. Yeah, because I, I didn't see it yeah. correctly. Yeah, fair enough. I also wouldn't say that I disliked any of it either. Yeah. yeah. What I did like about the Justice League trailer though is they didn't didn't reveal everything. No. I mean, I kind of know that the final battle is going to be in an anonymous, <laughs> yes, semi urban wasteland. Yeah. With fire and smoke, but other than that, like some of, some of the rest of it could be a surprise. Hey, absolutely. Some of it's in London. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. 
Some of it has egghead or whatever we said. Who earlier. might be egghead? Yeah. Wait, what if it's egghead? What if it is egghead? What would you say is the best reveal from Comic Con? If anybody has it, do we say if anybody has any clues who the guy in the yeah you the said that I think, yeah, okay yeah. cool all right best reveal yeah uh, I kind of like Flashpoint I think that's okay yeah I don't know if it's going to turn out well but I like it I like the idea of it um if it works yeah maybe Bright I did like Bright yeah Bright was, was good was a fun reveal yeah again for a guy who doesn't pay attention to his own podcast that's okay Mason yeah none of us do yeah that's right all right I'll go through a few more here okay. Mason give me one second okay. Give me two seconds. Time's up, baby. What do you think will have a better chance of succeeding? Miles taking over as Spider-Man or Dick taking over as Bats from Dude Bro McDudley? Ooh, good question. Who's more beloved, Batman or Spider-Man? Uh, but it's probably Spider-Man. Probably, because yeah, okay. like, Spider-Man, when you look at the sales of toys and stuff, it's yeah, Spider-Man yeah. by a long shot. Uh, look, I think... I think people like Tom Holland as Spider-Man enough that mm. I don't think they'd want to see a new version right now. But no. I, th- I think if Affleck wants to quit, I think people would be much more happy to replace him with a new guy. And again, we've all we've kind of laid the groundwork in Dark Knight Rises. Yep. We had, you know, here's Superman, he's Batman retiring and here's a, here's a new guy and he's going to take up the role kind of thing. And like narratively also... That Matt, that Batman is also on the verge. The Affleck Batman's on the verge of retiring. I feel yes. So, you know what? And again, I one one aspect that I like about the DC Snyderverse is that it's moved on a little bit. Yeah, it's like the Arkham video game universe in the sense that it's got some history behind it, and they're happy to move at least some of the things yeah. along. We don't have to watch Bruce Wayne's parents get shot again. Exactly. But we did, and I mean, I want to. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? Yes. From uh, Sesco. Would you like to see Tom Holland's Spider-Man swinging into a different Marvel property, Netflix included, like Tony Stark did? Oh, I'd like to see him in maybe The Defenders season oh, two. I'd love to see Daredevil Spider-Man. Yeah, that would be great. That would be very good, right? Won't happen. No. Though I heard this week that Ike Perlmutter stood down as, not this week, but Ike Perlmutter's gone. I think they, he just changed his job title. Yeah, okay. So I think he's still the same guy. He's still the same old crank. <laughs> Is that that's the reason why they don't cross over? Because he's he separates the properties. Is that the thing? Mate, yeah, that's the yeah, that's okay, the idea. Right. I, we don't because he's so private. We don't know anything about him either. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Daredevil, Spider-Man would be really good. Mm. What about this? I do think trailers are getting worse. Justice League, Ready Player One, Inhumans, just really sloppy. From David McNeil, probably showing more. Yeah, they're definitely yeah yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Enough worse because if you remember trailers as they used to be, like, yeah, are not good. I think they've I think they've deviated. I think there was a sweet spot a couple yes. of years ago, and I think they've deviated from that. But I think we're still well within the safe zone ah. as opposed to like trailers from like the nineties and earlier. Are right. No good. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I always point to except for Godzilla, which yeah, is a great the best, Yeah, that's incredible. But I think my I always point to the 1989 Batman trailer, Ugh, which terrible, as a kid yeah. I was amazed by. And so one day I'm like, I'm gonna go back and rewatch that. I bet it's real cool. It's terrible. Yeah, it's so clunky and jarring. Sound cuts in Sound and out. Sound cuts in and scenes. out. It's no good. It reveals too much. Yeah, I don't understand why I liked it. Because you're a kid. Because I was a kid and Batman looked like he was real. And yeah, that's why. <laughs> From John, do you think the Avengers Tower will become Oscorp? No, I think yeah. Very much possibility because they moved out of it, and Oscorp oh, yeah. is now in the universe. It's a good point. Yeah, there was someone else that somebody mentioned it could be. It could be Fantastic Four, but it's probably not happening. Yeah, yeah. could be any number of buildings. Could become a bloody UPS building. It absolutely could. Mm. Do you think this is from Matthew Buckley? Do you think Stranger Things really needed a season two? Interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, Maybe not. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll know say, when I it comes out. Well, no, I was, was going to say we'll know when it comes out. Yeah, I think we'll know. I think we'll know within about three or four episodes whether they needed to make a sequel. Mm. Like if it's just more of the same. Yeah. If it's the same build up and the same, I don't know. You know what I mean? All of those things. All those things. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Uh, some Jason says, do you reckon we'll, there we'll see that we'll see Thanos be a threat without the gauntlet? Gauntlet. Also, if it isn't soups, who else do you think it'll be? Oh, that's from the Justice League. Oh, yes. We talked right. about that. Mm-hmm. But uh, do you think we'll see Thanos be dangerous without it? Oh, I think yeah. we have to. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the fact that his daughters are both mm. stone cold killers. Yeah, and also the fact that he can even wield them, all of them, all at them once, together, exactly. Means that yeah. He's yeah, of immense power. And again, I love one thing I love about the Ragnarok trailer is that on Earth, Thor and Loki are 
to some degree unstoppable, mm. but in space they're just a couple of dudes who can be captured in nets yes. and thrown around <laughs> kind of thing. Like I like that in space it's a whole new, like it's a, it's like an exponential jump yes. in strength levels. And I think that Thanos is the top of the pile in that sense. Like he's this gigantic dude who can wield the Infinity Gauntlet because he's just that tough. That's right, Like yeah. I think he could, you know, I think, I'm sure he can take... Most of them. I would say the Guardians and the Avengers probably single-handedly, yeah. even without the gauntlet. Probably. He could probably take Hulk, couldn't he? He has before. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Mm. He's probably not stronger, but he's got everything else going for him. Yes, mm. exactly. That chin. Great chin. Yeah, great One chin. of the best. Oh, great chin. Uh, this is unrelated, but what are your musical tastes? What are your opinions on, Mel- on Melbourne Native's 12-foot ninja? You familiar with them? Uh, I'm aware of the name. I'm sure I've heard them on like PBS or whatever, but funny story, Mason, yes. friend of mine, Andrew, who you might know, maybe not insensitive Dave. Can you be more specific? About uh, Andrew? we lived up North together. He's a teacher. He's now no. a cop. Oh yeah. He's got that great hair. Yeah. He's got great hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He cut his hair actually. Oh, what? He's a cop. Yeah. Wow. He, um, his sister dates the lead singer of 12. There Ninja. you go. Mm-hmm. That's, that's great. It's just something for you to know. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm way behind in, in, uh, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out, but I've decided to make a list of like, uh, I'm, every any time I hear a, like a like a like an artist that I like, mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write it down. You write it down. Write it, write it down. Good. Uh, Royal Blood, they're a good band. I think they're from Melbourne. Maybe. You know, my friend Andrew's oh, sister, let it go. other yeah, Andrew's sister, sisters. yes, is dating the lead singer of Creed. <laughs> no. Wow, <laughs> I'm real uh, tired. I need yeah, to stop. Nice, nice. How much do we have to pay to have Meso shave his beard from Warren? Okay, this is just dollars. <laughs> For what was the last part? This is from Warren. Yeah. But I haven't gone through my list of music. Oh, sorry. Wait, I'll, I'll just go through Shazam. Did you know people can follow you on a Shazam? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't understand who it is, though, because I've never put out my... Sh- I don't even know how to tell people I have a Shazam. Yeah. But I have, like, a thousand followers. Are they just bots? They'd be bots, wouldn't they? They'd have to be. Yeah. Maybe. No, not necessarily. Yeah. Montaine. She's a singer that I like. Don't know her. Vera Blue. Don't London know Grammar. Her. Don't know good, good groups. Anyway. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm a cool cat. You seem real cool. I'm not cool. You give up things as you get older, Mason. Yeah, that's true. Me, it was giving but up I my freedom. I feel I should get back into it. No. Tell People tell me about good bands. I'd like to hear about it. Tell James as well. Tag James in as well. Fuck off. We're both no. going to become cool dudes. No, I'm not. I'm no, not listening to any music. Wow. Ever. I'm wow. out. <laughs> wow. I, I retire from music. Wow. That'll do it, Mason. Okay, we did it. I hope you had a good show. I did have a good show. Well, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's all... Listen to you say the last thing. Uh, let's see. You can find us on Weekly Planet Pod on Facebook and Twitter and Gmail and Bandcamp. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. You can also follow at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. That's our friend Rob Collins. He gets stuff done. You better believe it. Everything you'd ever need to know about anything happens there. Mm-hmm. Exclusively. Yes. Uh, let's see. What else? Britain the Basilisk for the themes. Yep. And Rackham. All the, all the, all the dudes. Uh, let's see. We've got some teas on tpublic.com. If you want to support the show, you want to chuck in a buck. Chuck in a buck. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movie. Yeah. Or there's an Amazon affiliate link in the episode description. You can click on there. You buy some stuff on Amazon. We're going to kick back somehow. I'm checking if patreon.com slash chuck in a buck is taken. <laughs> yes. It is not. It's an opportunity there. Mm, for someone <laughs> who would like to trick some of our listeners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that, that's everything. Yep. I think it is, yeah. All right, cool. Next week, I uh, don't know what we're doing. We may be something apes related because that's finally coming out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something. We've we got some stuff lined up. Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mason. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.